All right, there we go. Good morning, everyone. Everything should be set up correctly. Uh, yeah, maybe. Ah, uh, that might make a little bit of a difference. <laughs> uh, if you don't notice what I did, good. <laughs> App, yes, welcome back to Undertale. Hey, <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it shows you uh, who you've spared, I guess. Do we, get, do we unlock more settings? Nope, just language. Oh. Really? I never knew about this. Hmm. The, the secret dog menu. Incredible. Ah. But yes, well, welcome back to the trash zone. Ah. It's nice to see Toriel. <laughs> I forgot how abrupt it was. Hmm. Owls of Garbage. And just garbage. And we cannot check behind the waterfall for a secret. Unfortunate. The, the gamer experience is ruined. No. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. Good morning, Rezul. Hello, stream. Hello, chat member. Ah, I, I hope you enjoy those honks of despair. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it brings me back to Homestuck. <laughs> uh, a beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. More garbage. Ah, oh, this is space food, yeah? It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the raid, Yusha. Uh, good morning, everyone. Oh, welcome to Undertale. Uh, you may not have heard of this relatively new indie video game, but uh, it's been sweeping the nation recently. <laughs> good morning, BTuber. Good morning, Bodega Rat. Good morning, Nana Seikane. Good morning, Yusha Kun. Good morning, Calavera VT. Good morning, Pride Chan. What's it, Undertale? And <laughs> good morning, Christmas. Uh, what, 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 what is a Thundertale? And you weren't Maro Karen. Like Marin Karen? I don't know. I've seen like 10 minutes of SMT. Based or cringe? Genocide run. Based. We'll get to that after we beat the pacifist route. Ah. Uh, but yes, what were you doing? Was it, was it something like, was it something like, uh, karaoke? That's just a guess. I didn't check. <laughs> that Maro is okay. Fair enough. Yeah? Ah, I gotcha. What's the vampire part for? Did you sing Vampire Girl? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, nice. Freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Hell yeah, buddy. You got the astronaut food. This is a. Uh... Yeah, okay, Grandma, this is a little bit like, uh, this is a little bit like the Super Mario. Okay. Ah, uh, we've got the... Oh, we have a little bit more in the inventory than we need. Oops. Let's see. Astronaut food. Uh, 21 HP for feeding a pet astronaut. Perfect. And it's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. That's a nice little detail. But yeah. Uh, here's the dummy. Good morning, wee burritos. Yo, memes? You mean... You mean nine eyes? <laughs> Is that what? What's those memes? Hmm. But yeah, good morning, wee burritos. And good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bags bite. Late normal read. Uh, good morning, Ilya. And <laughs> welcome. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? N no. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. <laughs> you fool. Ah, shit. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Guts man. Ha <laughs> ha To intimidate to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until... You came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said... Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human. I'll scare your soul out of your body. Let's go. Yeah. God damn, the music's good. Uh, in fact, let me go ahead and... This might help a little bit. R reducing my volume. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's talk. Mad dumpy for bonus damage. Damn, it's a good... Uh, you talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Uh, to the one person who hasn't seen Undertale before. Ah, uh, uh, that's the gimmick. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forgot I said anything about magic. Let's check. Nah, I forgot to do that first. <laughs> Attack 30, defense, yes. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Defeat you and take your soul. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, and then... Oh, shit. Mad Dumpy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Nah, not much for a conversation. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. There we go. Terrifying. Now nah, let's just spare. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. As everyone wants to. Hmm. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Then everything I want will be mine. Yeah, okay, fuck. Come on. Uh, more cotton. Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Ah. Uh, more cotton. What was their name again? Hmm. Get ready for deep lore. Yo, let's go, big followers. <laughs> Alright, I have to take care of this. Uh, good morning, uh, Cynical Coconut. And... Good night. And good morning, Robert. Wait, what? Robert Brown, no! He's evil now! <laughs> I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe this! <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, I should have let you guys click on the links. Uh, my apologies. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever! Uh... Ah, only one hit. You knew it all along. No! Futile, futile, futile! Oh! Muda, 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 Ah, shit. Ah, my bad. I should be paying attention to the dummy. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Hey, guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well... Failures, you're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical words fill the room. Let's try talking. Nope. No one is happy with this. Dummy bots! Magic missile! Ah, uh, almost. Hmm, difference in the check. Let me bust try again. Oh no! <laughs> Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. Dummy bots, you're awful! Question mark. Okay, this guarantees you get some hits in. I guess. 
Mad Dummy is hopping mad. Yo, let's go. Dummy bots, final attack. Oh shit. No. There we go. N n no way. <laughs> You're awful, Murray. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. 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 <laughs> uh, what the heck is this? Uh, acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Uh, another another honk of despair. Hey, there he is. Uh, sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um... Feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Mm, the deep lore. Anyways. Let's go. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You are filled with determination. Let's go. And the shortcut should be unlocked now. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Yeah! <laughs> I think this is the only place this song is at. Let's fucking go. Incredible. I am in awe at this bird. <laughs> the song name alludes to a single event. Ah. Hmm. Now I'm not aware of uh, any of the uh, song names, other than Megalovania. <laughs> uh. Hmm. There we go. What, what an impressive bird. Good job, buddy. Bird that carries you over a disproportionately small gap. Ah, I see. Oh, that's Megalovania. Okay. What? 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 It's a living. Okay. I wonder whose house this is. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Why are we patching? Oh, for the, for the patches, for, for crossing the gap. Hmm. Or for the, uh, the bird. There he is. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Now, th thank you for, for applauding the bird. The CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. Hell yeah. The CD is labeled Spook Wave. Yeah. The CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it. <laughs> All right, you gonna head out? All right, sleep tight, Yushikun. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And I have a good one. Uh, they determined. <laughs> it's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, I should still have my spider donut. Oh, it's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. Yeah, th thank you for the raid. Uh, have a good one. <laughs> This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah, let's go. 
Hey, good morning, e-ghost. Eat your greens. Uh, I'm busy eating ghost sandwiches, baby. Let's go. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Okay. Follow my lead. <laughs> you don't eat the sandwich. It doesn't work. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Alright. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this happens. This is literally me when I'm vibing. <laughs> uh... Yeah. It's a neat. I don't think there's much beyond this. But. The, the music is neat. And <laughs> the scene is neat. <clears throat> that wasn't lettuce in the sandwich school! <laughs> yeah, that's my best shaggy. Gomenasai. Well, that was nice. Thank you. <laughs> Spinach. No! The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Ah, let's, let's head back. Like Zoink Scoob? Yeah, it's locked. Hmm. Oh fuck. Snail races. Uh. Awkward. Uh, I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Really, I I'm working. I don't want the boss to get mad at me. Especially since, since I'm my own boss. Hmm, it's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snail it, Sam Boyle. Boyle? Oh no. I've been long overdue for a second house. Incredible. This snail is counting dollar bills. Does he even have a, s a shell? That's a slug. Hmm. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? No! Race end. Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Uh, let's try again. I don't, I don't know if you can win this. <laughs> it might just happen every time. Hmm. You've seen someone win this. Okay. No, it got slower. No! Hmm. Interesting. Maybe you just don't have to encourage at all. Huh. Either that or mash through. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I'm interested now. I I've never seen someone win this. Hmm. 
one encourage. I think there's some silly gimmick to it. Uh... Yeah, 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 because encouraging too much reduces speed. Like so. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. <laughs> Try your best or something, I don't know. Uh, anyways, North Blute Acres, East Hotland, eh? Temi Village. Let's save even after those crushing defeats at the Snail Arena. And continue on, filled with determination, I guess. Ah, uh, wait, I think we can sell stuff here. Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale. I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Ah, uh, let's talk then. Anything you want to know? How about yourself? I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wah ha ha. Hmm, that emblem. Oh no. Eh? You don't know what this is? What that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wah ha ha. That's the Delta Rune. The nut dealer. <laughs> the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's a smell. <laughs> yeah, it's always as I say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. New? No. Is this post, uh. What does this mean? That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to, not, uh, to time. Can't name for beans. No! <laughs> He's working for beans. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Was this was this in like point 1.0 or whatever? <laughs> Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Calling that winged circle the Angel of Death. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> hmm. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. Good morning, Drippin' Ducky. Oh shit, I, wait, do I not have Cat Jam enabled? No, I've got, I've got Rainbow Please and uh, Rat Jam, I think. I don't know. It's been a while. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Ah, but yeah, welcome to, welcome to uh, John Undertale's Adventures. Sussy buns? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Undine? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Oh yeah, the Karagi Wiggly. It's so good. <laughs> Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> and... Let's go ahead and, uh... Remove some of our items. There we go. Uh, we don't need a tough glove, and dog residue is useful for much later. Now, let's get some better uh, defense items. Crab apple? Looks like a crab. I'm going boonie rapuni. 
This is a strictly Karagi Wiggly stream. Get out. <laughs> well, then not the other. Ah. Uh, heals 10 HP. Speed up in battle. Uh -huh. Cloudy glasses. Minus 5 defense. Invincible longer. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, for my current armor. Ah, the torn notebook. Yeah, this is a good deal. So, since we are uh, doing pacifist, uh, we probably want this. Less attack, but we're not attacking. And more invincibility means less damage. All in all, uh, a good deal. Torn no notebook. Attack 2. Contains illegible scrawls. Increases... Inv by s invincibility by six. Hmm. I thought that was inventory for a second there. I got scared. There we go. And we can put our ballet shoes back. Oh, wait. Nope. No one yet. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's where the, the fast travel comes in. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. No secret behind the waterfall. Cringe. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. Seven souls because of seven wizards? Yeah. <laughs> he never made the connection. Ah, uh, Gomenasai. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. I have to double check. Uh, here it is. Get that! Goddamn, <laughs> it's a good track. Uh, no, oh. mushroom be squeaking. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Ah shit! Temi rated Tem out of ten. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Oh yeah, I'm Temi. Ah, shit. Ah, no, no, no. What? You monster. Temi vibrates intensely. Talk? You say hello to Temi. Boy, I'm Temi. Sh shoot Temi. Okay. No. Temi is doing her hairs. Oh, we, 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 we did it. Ah. Uh, we'll have to wait to shoot Temi. Don't worry about it. Oh shit. The puzzles are more difficult. Uh, I assume it tracks you or something strange. Ah, that was the gimmick. Uh, I should use an, a healing item. I have too many. Cinnamon bun. You eat the cinnamon bunny, your HP was maxed out. If you move, it moves. Oh, okay, I am the fool. To gimmick backtrack once. Uh, was that the last one? We'll see. Yeah. Now let's backtrack one more time. There we go. Small spall isn't doing too much. Uh, let's flirt with it. I think we. I think we didn't do that last time. You wiggle your hips. Suddenly. Go. Oh shit. Are you wearing gravity and biscuits? <laughs> Welcome to Undertale. Yeah, the music's great. Mold big. And gyrates reservedly. He's trying to frick. Hmm. Mold big. One size greater than mold average. Go. He's literally me. No. Oh, I'm the fool. 
Moldbeg needs some distance. Let's unhug. You don't hug, hug Moldbeg. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Chast Wiggle. No. <laughs> Moldbeg seems comfortable with your presence. There we go. Easy. We should be able to access the uh, the forbidden area. Uh, did I have it wrong? No, I did not. There we go. If you didn't know, now you know. Toho versus Seven Bullets. Yes. Hoi, welcome to Tem Village. Rich history of Tem. Mm. Hoi, you should check out Tem Shop. You on the right. Oh, shit. Good job. Can't believe VTuber Temi is here. Holy shit, you're right. Uh, yeah, she's got an impressive art style. Good model. <laughs> I haven't seen much of her stuff. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You should check out Tem Shop. Uh, you feel something. You're filled with determination. The Temi nation. There we go. Uh, let's take out everything we want to sell. I don't think I need any of these weapons anymore. It's the song, goddamn it. Oh, I woke up to the temp shop. Uh, oh, bandage sells for 150. Incredible. Whoa! You gotta bandages. <laughs> I gotta have that bandages. But I gotta pay for college. Mm -mm. Tem always wanna bandages. Yeah. This is where the rap song came from. Uh, other way around. I can work oh, yeah. Temmy worked for Undertale before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Abandoned quiche. Boy knife. Mandana. Tough glove. Sell the snow piece. No. I can want Attenborough. Got money. Money on my motherfucking mind. <laughs> Get ten haircuts at the same time. <laughs> uh, $100 vacation through Mars. Uh, buy all my eagles a pair of cars. I don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> Uh, boy, I'm Temmy. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the Temmy section of the stream. <laughs> uh, hoy, I'm Temmy. Hoy, I'm Temmy. Temmy history. Us Thames have a deep history. Yeah, yeah. Go to Tem shop. Incredible. But yeah, <laughs> he's wanted. Uh. We gotta pay for college eventually. Tem flake expensive. Heals two HP. Food of Tem expensive. Heals two HP. Food of Tem discount. Heals two HP. <laughs> food of Tem. Incredible. Hmm. We should get access to something good. If we actually send her to college. Yeah, obviously. Uh, hmm. Uh, no, we don't have too much else to sell. Ball shoes. Let's go. Alright. Uh, hmm. I know you can actually farm money. <laughs> you can... Technically you're good, but you're the goo goo wah wah diaper baby if you actually need it. Ah, uh, I see. Did I say good morning, Ratty? Okay, good morning. Welcome to the Temmy section. Hoi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. 
Hoi, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Okay, good morning, human. Mm. Hi, I'm Bob. Good luck, Bob. Ah, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I'm pogging at the Karagi reference. Humans, such a cute. <laughs> Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. <laughs> the egg channel reference. Ah, it's hard boiled. Good morning, human, as well. Oh, no. Oh, top five haircuts at the same time. Wait, how does that work? Hmm. Statue of Tem, very famous. Very. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? Temmie's a tier 3 sub and eggs channel, I wish. It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hefe. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape. But alas, to no avail. Tem hurt human allergic to Tem. That okay, Tem understand. Tem, also allergic to Tem. Hives? I'll get it. Like, hives. There you go. Feeling of being watched. Incredible. Tem, watch egg. Uh, same dialogue. What gold pants jet skis made of wine? Boy, grab <laughs> Albert Einstein. There you go. Alright. Oh, not sure if that's the line. Uh, I thought it's got five haircuts at the same time. I've only heard remixes. I've only heard the remix with the <laughs> Nuclear Throne uh, Young Venus theme. Nah, the, the Venus Mansion. Which is a, a classic. Uh, oh shit. Uh, Washua only takes one turn. It's cop five haircuts, which means the same thing. Oh. Ask Washwood to clean you. Education, hobby, talent. Oh fuck. Was he putting the green down there? No, he's sweating. There we go. Ah. There we go. And now, we have to flex him away. WTC? What? What happens when you say shoe? Time to go away. Wow, spunky. Love it. No! Ah, well, let's flex off. Uh, flexing contest takes a while. No. Uh... Yeah, there, there are some very good, I guess, remixes on, on the internet. Hmm. Now, I remember SoundCloud used to be a little famous for those. I, I guess those were popular there. Ah, uh, Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Hmm. I, I, I should find an excuse to put all of those songs together for some sort of stream. Uh, at least all of my favorites. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. No, oh, no, that dark, dark zone. Hmm. Come on. Oh. Ah, mold big. Oh no, no, now it's a regular enemy. Uh, let's clean. I think that's a better first choice. Really, that didn't damage us. Or did I just not notice? Anyways, there we go. Did, did you see Koopa's Twitter profile? In Koopa? <laughs> no, I did not. Is it Apache? Did you succeed? In spreading your, your patches everywhere. I can't imagine you'd get excited about much else. 
Hmm. I should <laughs> thank you for the raid, Vic Ceremonic. Agamor non banana. I'll have to see. No, I don't have to see actually. <laughs> You're just not. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let's go. How's how's the stream? Was it based or was it cringe? I forgot to ask. Uh, if the karaoke was based or cringe. Oh no. She's she's patrolling now. Oh no. Who could have guessed? There we go. That wasn't too difficult. It's not cringe, just torture. Uh, what were you doing? Did you did you have fun? Yeah, good morning, Vic Saramanok. Anyone have one one channel points? Currently, no. Oh. Behind you. There she is. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. Hey, good morning, random pie man. Welcome to the climax of the stream so far. Mm hmm. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He'll finally take the surface back from humanity, and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. And Dean, I'll, I'll be fight. Yo! You did it! Undine is right in front of you! You got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You're gonna tell my parents about this, are you? She got vaccinated at the end of your stream early. You might have a fever during st streaming. Oh no! Undine? Und is it Undine or is it Undyne? Oh, the flowers extra. Oh, yeah, it should be the last thing said. Yeah? You're yeah, gonna tell my parents about this, are you? I'm dying. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I never checked the pronunciation. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. Uh, of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. I checked the first flower next to the guy that tells you about it. Not before he told me about it. Hmm, I forgot what it says before that. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Read all these flowers and then read the first flower. Okay, the secret text. Hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. <laughs> yeah, I hope someone asked me about this flower. It's my only purpose in life. Hmm. You mean first flower right at the bottom? Hmm. But anyways. Here we go. Pranked. It's not a very good prank. However, there's a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. No. All your mistakes are retroactive pranks. That's a classic. Oh. Yo. What is this fool doing? Yo, I, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... I want to ask you something. Radioactive pranks? No! 
Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're not human, right? Haha. <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know what now. I mean, Undyne told me, uh, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Nah. Yo, what? So I have to do it? He goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo, wait! Help! I tricked! Yo, yo, dude. It was a neutron. No! <laughs> he is cringe. If, if you want to hurt my kid, you're going to have to get through me first. Oh, based a cringe monster kid. Based. Look at him. <laughs> She's gone. Yo, you, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried or sick about me. <laughs> Dying cowering in fear over the monster kid. Absolutely. There's a second last flower from the bottom. Your mistake. Your mistake indeed. Later, sucker. I'm not checking. <laughs> Later, dude. Hmm. Alright. I doubt it. <laughs> uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you goddamn bastard. F fool me three times, like it can't happen. I cannot be fooled. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Has to do with flowery. Oh no. That's funny, that's just my wish too. Hmm. Yeah, it must be in a <laughs> one of the other ones. Oh. Why is the middle finger pointed sideways? Hmm. Now you must have to do something else before you get that. Hmm. Uh. Well, flower field crossed and backtracked the second flower. If Toriel was spared. Wait, what? Oh, maybe you have to cross through the whole area? I, I did spare Toriel. If you're so sad. Hmm. I'll see if I can get that. Read them all in one order. I thought I did that. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, maybe I did miss it. Hmm, unfortunate. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Prank that was a spoofed wiki pranked LMAO. Uh, I'll see if I can. Okay, so there's different dialogue depending if Toriel was uh, spared or killed. Oh, hmm. We'll see if we can get back there. After Undine. 
and thine. Can't believe Bag killed a MILF. It did not. It did not happen. It's bullshit. Oh, hi, Booney. <clears throat> oh, hi, Undyne. Seven. Seven human souls. King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as it is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. I did not. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it. Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Let's fucking go. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alpha's history books makes me they made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two shoes stick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. Young Kong Paku reference. Shut up. <laughs> not sure you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> the wind is howling. You're filled with determination. This eco's like an e break. Yes. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. That's fucking. <laughs> this song is so good. Uh, let's check. Attack 50, defense 20, the heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Welcome to the rhythm game. Goddamn. Uh, I guess pleading is okay. Hold on, Dean, you didn't want the fight. But nothing happened. Not bad, then how about this? Undine, fl Undine flips her spear impatiently. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undine holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Mm -mm. Undine, hold that uh, fist again. I won't let you snatch it away from us. <clears throat> no, my throat. No. <clears throat> Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Yeah, enough warming up. Let's go. Oh shit! Nah, <laughs> I forgot about that. No, Undyne. Yeah. Mercy. <laughs> I still can't believe you want to spare me. Undyne bounces impatiently. Even if I spared you. Oh no. Undyne towers threateningly. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Keep going, Quixty. Welcome to the boss fight. Then draws her finger across her neck. Answers patiently. No! Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Ah, shit. That one's tough. Mega One Juko TTV. Welcome. Uh. 
to stop being so damn resilient. Now, uh, I'm getting rolled by soy DD. <laughs> is that what it is? What the hell are humans made of? <laughs> Dine suplex is a huge boulder. Just because she can. Anyone else would be dead by now. Are these Mid-Eye Trumpets a Toho reference? <laughs> Fucking love the music. It's good. It's fantastic. Alpha's told me humans were determined. Yes, they are. Hmm, <laughs> based. I, I see now what she meant by that. Toby fucking loves his something. Uh, they're good. I'm, de I'm determined too. Ah, oh, shit. Soy DDR got me. <laughs> uh... I might as well use a bicycle. You eat one half of the bicycle. Determined to end this right now! There we go. Uh, Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Right now. But yeah, the, the mid-eye versions of Toho songs are <laughs> better than the, the the dot wave, right? Now, yeah. Shit. Ah, fuck. Haha. <laughs> smells like sushi. Incredible dialogue. Yeah, die already, you little brat. Take the L. No! Insensitive narrator. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. And he's the unicycle. Unicycle, I mean. Hmm, eat the unicycle? Or the rest of it. I will never take mercy from the likes of you. Don't let them take clappy. Undyne's eyes dart around to see if this is a prank. You will never spare me. We'll see about that. <laughs> no. mm. And then is smashing spears on the ground. You'll never escape from me. Mm. And Dine's eye is twitching involuntarily. Uh, I believe that the bolded escape means we're supposed to escape. Let's try sparing one more time. Yeah, same dialogue. Alright. Smells like angry fish! Don't murder the fish. No! Stop running away! Slow me down. Let's go. <laughs> the side angle on her looks a bit silly. Come back here, you little punk. Yeah, die already, you little brat. I assume you still have to flee. Ah, eh, whatever. I, I want to hear more of the music just for a little bit. Uh, another boulder suplex. Ring. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Und Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Thank you, Papyrus. Just what I needed. Oh, hi, Sans. <laughs> no. So hot, but I can't give up. She looks dry. What's with these banana peels on the ground? It's a water cooler. Take a cup. 
You take a cup of water. She seethed. Give Undyne the water. Yeah. Now, uh, good morning, Robert Brown. You missed your you missed your uh, evil counterpart trying to sell me big follows. <laughs> uh. Three months affiliate. Yeah. Almost a year. Let's go. <laughs> oh, nah. Oh, Sans is gone. Rest in peace, Nads on the tail. You know, we unkilled her. Shit, the, the, the clam. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Incredible. Oh. Time flies. Yeah. Sansa's stand still has snow on it. Okay, okay, okay. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. The cup of water returned to the water cooler. No! Is that snow? I thought that was paint. I thought that was like a like the roof. That would be interesting. Hmm. Uh, let's go back and check that flower. Let's see. But yeah, that's hot land. Might be paint. Yeah. Might be uh, fake snow. I have to know. Taste it and find out. The howling wind. The, the howling wind is now a breeze. This gives you determination. Well, gravity? It's hot where the lava is, not where the snow is. Wait, what the fuck? It's a box. Presumably to be pushed. Bah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah, there's no art in that action, you mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You still got hope. Uh, yeah, yeah, try solving this block-pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Ah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Ah, never mind. Is that a Goomber? Heard the wrong French. <laughs> no. Hmm. Oh no. We have angered the old man. How unfortunate. Yep. Yeah. Eh, puzzles are okay or whatever. Uh. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh, no. Ain't there. But yeah, I don't, is, is that your uncle? Is your uncle Jonathan Puzzle Developer? Hmm. I can't really tell what he's supposed to be. But yeah, allegedly. Let's see, yeah, if you, uh... If you do manage to, uh... I guess backtrack correctly, whatever happens there. Uh... Yeah, final flower field, cross through, and then backtrack to the second flower, if Toriel was spared. Mm -mm. The dialogue goes something along these lines. Where or where could that child be? I've been looking all over for them. And then... <laughs> that's I don't remember my flowery voice, goddammit. <laughs> that's not true. She'll find another kid and instantly forget about you. You'll never find her again. There you go. There's the super secret. Yeah, simple puzzles. Eh, yeah. Well, I mean, puzzles used to be simple too. And complicated as well. I, th I think it's a case of just oh, only remembering the ones that are good and then forgetting about the ones that are bad. The the, the good old fashioned nostalgia goggles. Was it kids these days? Mm -mm. 
seeing such a strange lab uh, laboratory in a place like this. Laboratory. Hey, you're filled with determination. Let's go. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Bro. Hmm, I forgot what's downwards. Ah. Tra la la. I am the river man. Or I'm the river woman? That doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Do you care to join me? Oh, every puzzle should use the Fibonacci sequence. No! A lot of puzzles back then in order to be complicated just ended up being completely illogical. Ah, then perhaps another time. Or perhaps not. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, it... Uh, a lot of them required you... It, 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 had like silly references or just you had the brute force <laughs> thank you for the the fibonacci uh sequence bits choose it's you it's you man here we go there we go now i get this the screenshot you want fibonacci spirals in your game gravity fibonacci makes you cry why uh, it's too dark to see near the walls. Ah, shit. It's too dark to see the, the dog food. Math. Wouldn't people nowadays just look up the solution online? Yeah. That's why all the good puzzles are ARGs that require, like, insane decryption and, like, 50 people working on it at once. Oh my god, I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Peace the energy player. No, I just look up... Uh, I just look up uh, synopsises. They're always very interesting. What was, the, what was the Halo 2 one? It was like something about bees. That was silly. Um, hiya? I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, you stepped out of the ruins. I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. Yeah, I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through a hot land. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, it's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, I recently decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. She watched the date with Papyrus? What do you mean, weird? Oh yes, I love these, yeah. Like, um, anti- anti-human combat features? Uh, of, co of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, uh, hopefully we won't run into him. Gonna contradict Alphys right now, rooting against me. Mm -hmm. eh? Huh? Did you hear something? Three of your least liked tropes slash themes. Robot achieving. Well, it's not really a robot. Whatever. Oh no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties. Mm -mm. To today's quiz show. Let's go. Oh, boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand to our wonderful contestant. <laughs> oh, I see. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. 
or you die. Let's go. Oh yeah. Cringe Omega Nerds played for laughs. TV show host memes. Fire levels. Really, you don't like make more caverns? Oh, 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 oh. Let's check. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? D. More questions. There we go. Yeah, Alphys helps you. Let's <laughs> cry. Screaming is against the rules. He's a terrific prize. What's the king's full name? There we go. Correct. What a terrific answer. I may or may not be doing the rainbow please right now. In the... In, underneath the mask. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Eh? Uh, metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you. The transmit and be semi season part. D. Thank you, Alphys. <laughs> Quiz show continues. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Wow. Alphys is good. Oh no, you're a robot? Oh no. Hmm. Let's play memory game. Nah, what monster is this? It's a frog. Hit. Oh no, goddammit. I should've- I should've waited for, uh, Alphys. No, I am the fool. No, I'm not eating the snow piece. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. Great, great answer, <laughs> love it. Hmm. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Do you want the timer? <laughs> it picks up. Ah. Uh. Time to break out the big guns. In a dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what's Mew Mew's favorite food? Snail ice, every girl's the trip she buys ice cream for all her friends, but it's the snail flavor, and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and. Sea salt ice cream. Oh, only for the smoochy ghost. Yeah. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Mmm. Well, the timer isn't even moving. Alphys on screen, you sleep. Based. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her, of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing the domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But... But... This was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. <laughs> Sayonara. Well, that was certainly something. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe if you need help, I could. Where'd you get that phone? It's agent. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Romance and bloodshed. You want to be a competitor? Oh no. Can't reveal someone's Oshi. I think you've got a different meaning of Oshi, you ghost. Here, I upgraded it for you. Uh, it can do texting, items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Alphys would be too so officially. 
<laughs> no! Yeah, we got the dimensional boxes now. No, let's call that. Uh, let's call Papyrus. A lab? My brother would love that. He loves science fiction, especially when it's real. It'd be a cat girl since she likes Mew Mew, whatever the hell. Okay, I see. Catfish. It's a, it's a bag of dog food. It's half full. You're over your own Oshi. <laughs> it's you. Oh no. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Wait, why would you put instant noodles in the fridge? Hmm. Interesting. It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. A teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Oh no. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Hey. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... No. Hmm. A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. You feel nauseous. <laughs> nauseous. Na nauseous seeing the desk. Yeah, that many dishes is too much. That that's just insane. And the crumbs. And the figurines on ground level. It, the, if there's any like if there's any like soup left in those in in the in the in the in those if there's any ramen broth left over and they spill, it'll get all over the figurine. And the keyboard and the computer. It's fucked up. I think Alphys is a well adjusted monster. No. Soup tribute. The styrofoam bowls. Same difference. It's a video feed of your location. Wait, I thought it moved around with you. Hmm. Did they change that? Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Oh shit, thank you for the raid, Raku Gozu. Uh, let's see. Did you beat Etrian Odyssey? Let me hit you with the shout out. There we go. You make fucking died. No! Good morning, Bunzel. And... Wait, why can't you hear me? Is the tab muted? <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Good <laughs> night, Calavera. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bakes bite. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> thank you for the raid, Rocky Gozi, and good morning. Uh, scientific books. They seem very dusty. But yeah. Hmm. Rocky Gozi is pretty cool. Ah. Only the cute ones. Good luck. Good luck picking them out. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. Volunteer. Good luck. Uh, all these books are labeled human history. Uh, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. Not very accurate. Pink goop drips from the strange machine. It's the fucking thing from Teletubbies, holy shit. Why is it here? Looks like Alpha's work table. Now, Alphys's work table seems dusty. Uh, I, did that did that fight is that switch ex exclusive? Hmm. Cause yeah, you can fight a uh, a robot, kitty kitty mew mew whatever the hell. Uh, and it's got, I, I think it, yeah, cause it it's got like it's like the Undying fight kind of, but you've got like two separate ones. 
You need, yeah. You need two separate joysticks. This wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggy, Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Hmm. It's a promo poster for Metapun's TV premiere. On the flip on, on the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Ah. Uh, but yeah, that, that fight is fun. I don't remember the music for it exactly. But I, I remember enjoying it. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Ah. Interesting. No, you had that you had that poster IRL, but it got messed up. Oh no! Uh Uh, uh, uh I just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Mm -mm. All this updated status. Well, I, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Take a shower and a nap. <laughs> Do your reps, kid. All right. Uh, later. Hey, good night, uh, gravity and biscuits. Sleep tight. Don't the bed bags bite, especially not in the shower. For now, I gotta call them up. Call up the human and guide them. There we go. Ah, shit. Yeah, the next, uh, layer of enemies. No, oh, something by Wednesday. Hmm. Let's check. Vulcan mistakenly believes it's a lava can heal people. Ah, I'll help heal in magmas. Hmm. There we go. Let's, uh, encourage. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ah, it does my best. Ah, shit. Wait, is the bottom always safe? Ah, there we go. Mercy. Bit weird hearing people use rips that way recently. Wasn't that, wasn't that from, like, Ina? From the, the, from the Hollow Live? I don't know. Uh. Hmm. But yeah, have a good one. Gotta call them in a minute. You wouldn't know. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. I wouldn't know either. I've only read. Uh, I've only watched a little bit of Ina. And like none of the other Hollow Live ENs. Hmm. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. There we go. Come on. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. LMAO. I can't believe Ina lives. <laughs> Ina's the only based one. Where's Booty? You need the armpit speech. Wait, what? Wait, Ina is Karagi's ocean now. <laughs> the Derek plane gets in the way. Not, not on purpose or anything. Hmm. Let's check. Sundera plane. Seems mean, but does it secretly like you? No way, why would I like you? Hmm. The greatest, the greatest enemy in this game. Hmm. Let's flirt. You tell Sundera plane that it has cute winglets. Huh? Y you sicko! No. Sundera plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Let's uh, approach. You get close to Sundera plane. Sundera plane, uh, but not too close. Eh? Human. There we go. <laughs> it might not be a bad idea. Should need to adjust nutrition accordingly. Yeah, I, I need to start lifting. T it's good for you. Like, t for your brain or something. Hmm. Uh, I, I guess drawing all day and lifting is a bit much. For, for at least at least your dominant arm. Maybe. Oh, OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm I'm just gonna call. 
Bulk up and get swole. That should be the goal of all VTubers. <laughs> Caleb's winning right now. Lifting gives your arm stamina. Good point. Hmm. Ring ring. Click? Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. God damn it. Hmm. Alright, let's check the other way. I don't remember what is over here. Oh? Ah. Growing pan. Oh, yeah. There's a frying pan laying on the ground. Will you take it? Let's go. Get the burnt pan. Uh, burnt pan. Weapon attack 10. Damage is rather consistent. Consumable items heal 4 more HP. Eh, that's a neat one, I guess. Hmm. Uh. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to, uh... I'll have to become the swollest VTuber. It's the only way to win. Uh, the, hi, so, the blue lasers... Uh, I mean, Alpha's here. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving. And they... Um, they won't, um... Move through those ones? Uh, hi. OMG, I did it! Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Oh, no. There we go. Perfect. Nah, at least the music is great. <laughs> Even if it gets interrupted by Undyne. I mean, uh, Alpha's calling. It's a switch. I'll press the Nintendo Switch. Deactivated. Very nice. Come on. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. What'd you pick up me right now? It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Hell yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'll just see. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I, I think you should go to the right first. It's probably bad, uh, bad advice. Let's go. Uh, the way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. This fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo, and I kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. Dude's just a talking head, a, to a talking cat head with sunglasses. Incredible. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. There we go. Easy. Wow, you solved it! I'm impressed! You must be a total nerd! Thank you. Ah, uh, no difference. Alright. These puzzles are neat enough. Hmm. Uh, Alpha's here. Th th that blue laser seems totally impassable. But, as the royal scientist, I, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll ha hack into the, the Hotline Laser database to take it out. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can... Well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Yo, she's hot. Ha, I get it. Fire joke. Okay. She's the closing ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh...
Hmm. Man, this one's a little spicy. Oh, there we go. Easy. Ah, nothing new. There we go. Now we should be able to pass through. Let's go. Do they have new dialogue? I should check. Hmm. Nope. Bam. Never mind. Hmm. I mean, we should see those guys later. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Uh, I think, um... Hey, uh, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but... Uh, you already solved them. Awesome! Let's go. Ah, shit. Uh, hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Let's fucking go. Oh, no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. Preheat your ovens, because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making... a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone, give them a big hand. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Uh, oh, great job. Just put them in the middle of this counter. Shukri Kish. MTT brand microwave. Origin of the MTT challenge. Put your food in and set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. Oh yes, MTT brand ovens can reach temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Roasting, toasting, burning, showering, you're excited, aren't you? Darling, TM. <laughs> Good morning, Mario. Baggy tail. Hmm. Swap some letters around and it's a little spooky. Milk, eggs, in the fridge. No way, darling. They'd get cold. This isn't a show about washing your hands, darling. That's on Wednesdays. But yeah, welcome to welcome to Blunder Tale. There we go. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all of the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my! Wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. Oh. Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Uh, wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different, non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan? Uh, well, I mean, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTD brand always can feed a whole uh, human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Oh. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? What's the matter? Not a can fan? That's too bad. MTT brand uses only the freshest artificial ingredients and chemicals. You sleep? Ah, uh, good night, Ilya. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bags bite. And make sure to grab your cans. Either way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no. There's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. While I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this.
There. Y you should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. Let's fucking go. Ah, uh, it's a good song. Yo. <laughs> uh, man, Toby Fox knows how to make a banger. Nah, shit. I took a hit. Fringe. My Toho license is gone. I can no longer say random things are Toho. Give more rum, rum to Ember. My, my. It seems you've bested me, but only because you had the help of a brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I love to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh, yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Big one, Guardians, eh? <laughs> the title for the song is so dumb. Can you really call this a hotel? I didn't receive a mint on my pillow. They put the mint on the pillow? Really? I've been to the hotel like two or three times. <sighs> no, wait. No, mostly motel. Whatever. Ring. Wow, we we did it. We, we really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Yeah, I guess I guess they must have been motels if there wasn't a if there was nothing on the pillow. Oh shit, there was flowery for a moment. It was right there. Hmm. Oven looks pretty modern. Microwave. That's great if you're a microwave fan. The fridge, it's strangely warm. A specifically regular sized sink. And Nothing else to inspect. Unfortunate. Okay. Yo, let's go. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You are filled with determination. Ring. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power in the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. And the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Click. Hmm. Oh yeah, we still need to... We still need to go cooking with Undyne. Uh, location... Uh, right floor two? It's left floor one. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Let's do that right now. Riverman, Riverwoman. Where will we go? A waterfall. Then we're off. Hmm. Now, tra la la, you can never have too many hot dogs. Sadly, that's not true. Ah, yeah. If you keep. So you can buy hot dogs from Sands, and if you keep buying them past your inventory limit, he, he just puts them on your head. Come again sometime. Tra la la. You can stack 30 of them, I believe. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think we don't need the burnt pan, really. Uh... Who's this way, yeah? Yeah! There we go. Now... Yeah, there we go! Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Let's fucking go. <laughs> More dating simulations. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Ah, 
right, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Uh, you bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate, humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why aren't you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the e enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. <clears throat> challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? One time, Alphys is a... friend came over here? All he did was lie seductively on the piano, and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. You wanna see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Look inside the bone drawer. That motherfucker. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing, but, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer that has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food, so I hope it's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Yes. Heh, <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Hmm. So, it's, a, it's, a, it's too big to be called a sword. It's more a hunk of metal. Anyways. Sit down and progress. Wait, what about the window? I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Incredible. What a hero. Uh... Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Hot water, let's go. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Hmm. Hmm. Sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. Bridge. 
Uh, the, the fridge! You want to have the entire fridge? No. Tea box. Hot chocolate. Soda. Sugar. Undyne. Oh, of course, you, you told me to do that. Are you... hitting on me? Eh? This one's for you. <laughs> uh, let me double check the sword. Now nah, let's try the incorrect choices. The sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are the ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yes. What? R really? That rules. Soda. Oh, soda. Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? What do I have it? Hmm. Hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I, I stopped getting it because it always it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Hmm. I want hot chocolate. I want hot chocolate now. Hmm. Tea, huh? C coming right up. No chalky milk. God damn. Hmm. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> Me when there's no chalky milk. Hmm. Hot chocolate. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, it's all done. Man, hot chocolate with a little bit of Irish cream is the, the, the only form of alcohol that I've actually enjoyed. Uh, here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Good taste. Uh, yeah, th thank my mom for that recommendation. <laughs> hot chocolate with a shot of whiskey. Hmm, interesting. And a bit of cinnamon syrup. What about a little bit of maple syrup and hot chocolate? Would that work? It's got a bit of a... Hmm. Do Irish cream and eggnog. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to think about this. <laughs> Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. I excuse me, do you know how- do you want to know how to beat me? I, I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now, I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. You ordered five of those? Is it, is it patchouli flavored tea? Have they developed that yet? Has science gone that far? Oh, Bailey's eggnog. Interesting. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. 
I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching them how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Not 100% of your life is patchy-centric. Oh, so you... Mm, not yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. You're supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Just fucking go. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can Ida ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends. Yeah! Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fist. How will you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You'd knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Wait, was there... Was there banana in the sauce? <laughs> uh... We'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Nyaaaaah! Uh, just put them into the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Banana ketchup? Huh? Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. 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 Uh, let me do it. I, I was mashing Z. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right. Let's go. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's too... Ah. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it's a lot of passion. Oh yeah, even, even the sauce is on fire. It means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. You pour in ice cold water into boiling oil to make lamb sauce. No. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Uh, it's mercy. Show me what you've got. This time, don't hold anything back. Do your worst. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking me at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your super, your stupid saturating stick, stick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. 
Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. L listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt, hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to it, too. Uh, well, see you later, punk. You big DPS, one damage per round, let's fucking go. What, what, what? That's uh, still living. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. Beast. <laughs> uh, it's finally been done. Uh, let's go back to Hotland. No, no. <laughs> the boat's walking on the water. No. Tra la la. Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Hmm. It's literally me. There we go. Come again sometime. Tra la la. You gotta save every chance. Every chance you get. Right floor two. Is there any lore behind Frisk's beer gut? Uh. <laughs> it's funny. Heh. <laughs> I'm Heat's Flames Man. Remember my name. Heat's Flames Man. My favorite Mega Man character. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? Ah shit, it is snow. Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Hmm. Toasty bun. Hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Nah. Yeah, you gotta save your money for college and spiders. Hot cold man. What do you think they fell in, in, in the hole? Looking for beer. <laughs> Frisk was going on the beer run. Hike to work off their pants overfeeding. Are you sure? Hmm. Just a, just another snail pie, my dear. Hmm. Office posted a picture. Dinner with the girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Cool skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Now oh, shit. Pyro. Uh, check. This mischievous monster is never warm enough. Not enough for you. Good morning, Jacob. Uh, oh no, you made. Wait, I don't remember the gimmick for this. Uh, cool down. You blow on Pyro. Its flames die down. Pyro's attack drop. Yeah, good morning, Jacob. Deman. Welcome to Undertale. See this man with a bag on his head going through the underground fills you with determination. Maybe. Orange is the opposite boot. Oh god damn it! I forgot that was. I am the fool. Uh. Invite. Invite Pyro to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. Son of a bitch. No. Uh. Heat up. 
You crank up the thermostat. High rope begins to get excited. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter. Let's go. Ah, shit. <laughs> this is actually a little difficult. You remove the instant noodles from their packaging. Some water in the pot and place it on the heat. You wait for the water to boil. It's boiling. You place the noodles into the pot. Four minutes left until the noodles are finished. Three minutes left until the noodles are finished. Two minutes left until the noodles are finished. One minute left until the noodles are finished. Hmm, you can just eat it raw. The noodles are finished. They don't taste very good. You add the flavor packet. That's better. Not great, but better. Covered 4 HP. Bad special dialogue? Yeah, that's what I was thinking for a moment there. Is it cold in here? No. Ah, fuck. I took it to the chin. Ah, that didn't help too much. Well, whatever. Let's, uh... Help the heat up again. Crack up the thermostat. It's super hot. Hyrule looks satisfied. Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh, the room is smeltering. Ah, uh, smeltering. Smeltering. Ah. Uh, oh? The old cool skeleton 95. That's, that's a joke, right? Yeah, I'm doing the pacifist run first. The only joke here is how strong my muscles are. Incredible. After Pluke, 22 has sent you a friend request. Accept the request. Reject. Uh, enough details here. Yeah, the so sorry if I was. Hmm. I don't know how. I, I don't know how to set the system clock on on my computer. It seems to have already rejected itself. Ah shit. There's an apron lying on the ground. Will you take it? You got the stained apron. Ah. Uh, no. Uh, armor at defense 11. Heals 1 HP every other turn. Yeah. You equip the apron. Old 2-2 two -two is... Oops, uh, less defense. Uh... But yeah, so sorry, you need to set your system clock to October 10th. Like, 8... just before 8 a.m. Let me check. Uh... Hmm... I think certain things don't like it if you have the system clock wrong. We'll see. <laughs> the dog shrine in its room are dog checked. What do you mean dog checked? Hmm. Ring. Uh, hi, it's Dr. Alphys. This puzzle is kind of, um, timing based. You, gotta, you see those switches over there? You have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Okay, now press the third one. Hey, 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 looks like you only needed to press two of them. Thank you, Alphys. Uh, for, that's the last time I tried to help with the puzzle. Oh, my oh. Dog check is a room where the game sends you if you enter a room with an unvalid ID or something. It's just the annoying dog dancing with dance of dog playing. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about going through all the, the funny gaster locations. Uh, ring? Uh, hey! Actually, thank you for that the raid, the Lizard Queen Dean. It's, it's, it's a lizard raid? Beans? Uh, good morning, the. Uh... Hmm. TCW2FLNYT. <laughs> good morning, Blue Cornflower. Good morning, Zotaku Senpai. And, uh, 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 thank you for the raid. How was your stream? And good morning, Lizard Queen Dean. Did, did you have a good stream? Was it based? Uh, uh let's see. Bancha. There we go. 
Nice. Green beans and good wishes. Huh. What were you playing? Was it was it in fact Undertale? <laughs> that's that's my assumption. Uh, uh, hey, I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Oh, night in the woods. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. Be flipped that way. I'll go to the right. No, I'm I'm a fool. God damn it. Hmm. I until broke you not too long ago. It's the cat occurs to continue. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, hold on. <laughs> uh. I'm losing on the baby puzzle. <laughs> uh, oh, more obviously. Pretty good. Uh, so we need to have it facing to the right when we land on that one. So it needs to be facing to the left before we land there. Hmm. Let's see. This is the hardest puzzle in the game. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> so that makes sense. Uh. Also simple. Yeah, I imagine it was something like that. Yeah. I just got the I just got it wrong the first time. It's all about looping correctly. Yeah. OMG, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1. Lol, that's a joke, right? I hate it because the solution's so simple. It's not that bad. Uh you know, uh. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Hopefully you get your cheese. <laughs> You're on your way to the core that broke you. Can't get through some of the little fights. Ah, I see. More squeaking. There's a piece of cheese inside, inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Can't, I can't activate it that quickly. OMG, don't they get it? Ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc? My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. Incredible. Oh yeah, Adult Rune's pretty good. Based or cringe, Mew Mew 2. Based. <laughs> and good morning, Hey, you, stop. Oh, shit. Hmm. We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. Oh, no. Uh, it's not worth it fighting, so sorry. That mean you should do Mew Mew. Oh, oh, okay. Dog checked? Wait, what? So you can't actually get there? Hmm. Interesting. Watch part two ten times on Twitch. Oh shit. <laughs> Based. Uh. We've like received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll be going through Delta Rune after this. Uh, I've heard it's better to, I guess, stream it blind than stream it not blind. Hmm. Wait, what do you mean you own it? <laughs> oh, oh, PC and PS4 on for Delta Rune. I mean, I guess yeah, it's free. Huh? What is it, bro? The shit they're wearing. Like, what about it? Bro. 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is like mega embarrassing. Me like actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Chapter two is better than chapter one. It's eight hours compared to five hours. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Let's check both of them. Royal Guard member with shining polished armor. Like, team attack. Team attack. Yo, no. They're too powerful. Damn it, shit. Sweat pours from Zero Two's armor. Let's check. Royal Guard member with stuffy armor. Like, you're dead and all. Hmm. The tells the better game. Huh. <laughs> I can just read between turns. Oh, it's officially all caps. Oh, shit. Chapter 1's held back by the prologue setup, and Chapter 2 has more freedom for shenanigans. Ah. I see. Clean armor. I think we clean his armor? You attempt to touch Rural Guard 01's armor. Your hand slips off. Like, hands off the merch. Sigh. Why can't I find a bro like this? <laughs> uh, Undertale is 100% finished and Deltarune is 25%. Fair enough. Nate yeah, did. You shenanigan? Uh, good night, Zotaku Senpai. It's a sleep tight, don't let the bed bags bite. <laughs> Have a good one. Ah, here we go. You clean Royal Guard 02's armor. It's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Like, you're dead and all. Get it, Warber. Oh. Can't take it. Armor too hot. <laughs> Much better. Let's clean his armor now. Mm, whisper. You tell Royal Guard 1 to be honest with his feelings. Need you, bro. I, I... What? Oh, no. D dude. I, I can't... I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, Zero Two, I like... I like... Like you. Timmy and Toby had to draw Royal Guard 2's muscles. What do you mean? Appreciate it. Oh, good night, Lizard Queen Dean. <laughs> Sleep tight. Don't the bed bags bite, or the Undertale bite. Uh, the, the way you fight, the way you talk. I, I love doing team attacks with you. I, I love standing here with you, bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. Zero two. I, like, want to stay like this forever. Timmy hates drawing muscle guy. Guys, apparently. Hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, she hates it. Why oh, she didn't like drawing Aaron? Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, psych. Gotcha, bro. Haha. -ha. Kiss your homies goodnight. <laughs> no. Zero one. Yeah, bro. Do you want to get, get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. Ha ha ha. Zero one and zero two are looking at each other happily. There we go. For a moment. Kiss your homies goodnight. Hmm. <laughs> Oops, wait, how's the food been doing? Uh, shit. Oh, no. Oh wait, you misspelled Temi? Oh shit. The top 10 shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. Me or homie. Lots of gay sexual tension here. No, what are you talking about? No way. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm back. Uh, another dark room, huh? Don't worry. Yeah, this is the pacifist run. My hacking skills have got things covered. Uh, are you serious? Oh yes! Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. 
This is Metaton, reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Unfortunately, our correspondent is out there, reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Undertale Art Book has a lot of neat comments from Toby, Temi, and Gigi. Gigi? Ha! Huh. Never before seen concept in sprite art. Sh I should find an online version of it. Hmm. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Yo, ten views. Let's go. Basketball's a blast, isn't it, darling? Too bad you can't play with these balls. They're MTT brand fashion basketballs. We're wearing, not playing. You can't get rich and famous like moi without beautifying a few orbs. Report this one. She tested the game and drew the Mew Mew posters and a few other things. Oh. What a sensational opportunity for a story. I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. I'd love to. Oh my, it's a present! And it's addressed to you, darling! Aren't you just bursting with excitement? What could be inside? Well, no time like the present to find out. Is this song's live report now and dead report when the bombs are diffused? Hmm, based. Report this one? Ooh la la, this video game you found is dynamite. Though I don't make an appearance in it until three fourths in. But I like that. Appearing from the heavens like mana, liking the audience's hunger for gorgeous robots. Ooh, that's Metaton. Report this one. Reporting these nuts. No! Oh no! The movie script, how'd that get there? It's a super juicy sneak preview of my latest guaranteed not to bomb film, Metaton the Movie 28, starring Metaton. I've heard that like the other films, it consists mostly of a single four hour shot of rose petals showering on my recy uh, reclining body. Oh, but that's not confirmed. You wouldn't <laughs> spoil my movie for everyone with the promotional story, would you? Hmm. Ooh, that was close. You almost gave me a bunch of free advertisement. See, all these... Make, it makes you wonder how... What would have went if Toby kept the Kickstarter reward of Dateable Robot Husband? Interesting. Recycling pose. Oh my! It's a completely nondescript glass of water. But anything can make a great story with enough spin. And... That's it. Hmm... Dog's a classic. Uh... No. Look at this dog. This dog still exists! The story just keeps getting better and better. Hmm... <laughs> uh... Yeah, it probably ends up like the papyrus date. Attention viewers! Our correspondent has found... A dog! Cue audience Oz. That's right, folks. It's the feel-good story of the year! Look at its little ears, tiny paws, fluffy tail. Subscribe to Karagi channel. Uh. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's a fuse. That's right, that dog. The dog's a bomb. It's a bomb. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Oh my. It seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. The present's a bomb. That basketball's a bomb. Even my words are. <laughs> Just joked here. Papyrus' is cool song. Oh, really? He didn't show off anything to do with it and announced it as cancelled. Huh. Interesting. Brave correspondent. You don't defuse all the bombs. This big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible. How disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Oh no! <laughs> viewer count went down! Don't mention the viewer count! <laughs> uh... No, I... Don't worry. I installed a bomb diffusing program on your phone. Use the diffuse option when the bomb is in the diffuse zone. Now go get him. Uh... Diffuse failed. Oh shit. 
There we go. Dog diffused. It's declining. Great job. Keep heading around the room. Try to go for the one in the bottom left next. There we go. Diffuse the game. Bomb diffused. Yo. Nice, got it. Defuse the script. There we go. Hey, this is the low turnout graduation stream too soon. N no! Defuse the present. Let's go. You know too much. Uh Okay, what's 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 Gaster's favorite pasta? There you go. Bomb defused. Hey, it's just a basketball bomb. If it's sent there, I'm using that EM fields to trap the glass of water there. Use the extremely agile glass of water. Do you consider making the game go? No. Uh, there, <laughs> got him. Mm -mm. Well done, darling. You've deactivated all the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. Goodbye, darling. Ah. It seems the bomb isn't going off. His only references are the followers and the sound test. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, that's because while you were monologuing, I, I fi fixed, uh, I changed. No, oh, no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Oh, good morning, Riker. You hit a backseat. Uh, sorry, I don't have the backseat to tag on right now. Uh, banned? <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Curses! It seems I've been foiled again. Oh, no. It seems I've been foiled again. <laughs> Sorry. My throat. Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. Shit, no, he's down to eight. <laughs> Poor guy. Until next time, darling. Wow, we really showed him, huh? Hey, I know I was kind of weird at first. But I, I really think I'm getting more, uh, more, more confident about guiding you. Yeah, vaccine allowed on. Oh shit, I didn't turn it off. Fuck. Ag more noodles. Well, be able. Kill one more thing. Come on. No. Too many Zotsadons already talking about other VTubers and his numbers. No! <laughs> so, so don't worry about that big, big dumb robot. Uh, I'll protect you from him. And if it really came down to it, we could just turn... Uh, never mind. Later. Good morning, Luna Moon the Wolf. Kill something. No. Yeah, we can't interact with the bomb. Hmm. Don't worry, Pacifist Run is coming up right after. Hmm. Deaths. De death tomorrow, probably. Uh. Hmm. Chat crazes death. Considering the population, he has the equivalent of 150k viewers. All the live debut levels. Hmm. Based. Ring. Uh, um. I notice you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about me meeting Asgore? Well, don't worry, okay? The king is a really nice guy. I I'm sure you can talk to him. With your human soul, you can pass through the barrier. So, no worrying, okay? J just forget about it and smile. <laughs> I, I can't believe Metaton is the newest Hololive member. There we go, L2. If we do not see heads rolling, we will do nicely. Mm, no. It's a crony. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no. 
Let's go. I, I, I ended up buying a donut. I, I, I didn't want to, but that girl, even though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. N now I'm out of cash. Maybe I can sell it online and double my money back. Spider bake shit sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. It looks like some sort of powerful bracelet. Wait, it's just a croissant. You fool. You have to buy 200 Karagi NFTs. Crony's a clock one. I don't know what the clock one is. But holy shit, is that, is that a meditant emote? Uh... Yeah, it's a spider donut. It looks more rubbery than usual. <laughs> what are the sad faces for? Uh, welcome to our parlor, Deary. Interested in some spider pastries. All proceeds go to real spiders. Check out the webs to make a purchase. Spider donut for 9999 Spider cider? Oh shit. I didn't keep them in my... In, in my inventory. Gaining knowledge of corporal tubers to appeal to indie frogs. Two hours, 27 minutes? Yeah, this is the uptime. Ring. Uh, hi, Alpha's here. This room is like the, the room we saw before. There are two puzzles to the north and south. You'll have to solve them both to proceed. Also, I'd like to say, I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions. But if you need help, just call me. Okay? Actually, wait, I have an idea. Let's be friends on Undernet. Then you can just ping me when you need help. Wait, we're already friends, aren't we? I signed you up, didn't I? You've been reading all my posts the whole time? Well, I hope you agree with me about me and you too. Click. Spider cider, spider cider, spider cider, spider cider. It's connected. <laughs> okay. Based. <laughs> hmm. Only cowards stay connected. What's down? Uh, ah, you gotta. I forgot. There we go. Run. You have 9 p.m. class, you want to die. 9 p.m.? What? Really? What the fuck? Like, after school? That's silly. Hey, this, um, doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but... Uh, hey, would you want to watch a human TV show together? Sometime? It's called, um, M Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Sure. R really? It's so good. It's, um, my favorite show. It's all about this human girl named... Which humans don't have, so she's all sensitive about them, but, like, eventually she realized that her ears don't matter and that her friends, like, you have to spite the ears, it's really moving. Spoilers also, this sounds weird, but she has the power to control the minds of anyone she kisses. She kisses people and controls them to fix her problems. They don't remember anything after the kiss, I mean, but if she misses the kiss, then, then uh, and, uh, also, I mean, uh, of course, eventually she realized that controlling people... Okay, well, I almost spoiled the whole show, but, uh, I think you really like it. Oh, no, he changed colors. No. We should watch it after you get through all this. Like. Okay, nerd. <laughs> Shoot the opposing ship. Just one shot. Uh... There we go. Easy. Nice. That one said the fights had to be difficult. Check this. You stop to smell the flowers. Incredible. <laughs> hmm. You want the asterisk her. Interesting. I didn't know you're that kind of a. Uh, didn't know you're that kind. <laughs> ah, damn it. It's to the north. There we go. I've seen someone stuck on this one for a while. If this is the one I think. Nope. Zundere plane, and it's not because it's jealous of Vulcan paying attention to us. Uh. Scalia alert. No! <laughs> what do you mean, respect? Hmm. Uh. I 
should heal up. Thunder, helpful. Oh god. Alright. Uh... Uh... Encourage? Then again, all the weeby girls you've met were smelling. <laughs> no! You maniac. There we go. Don't get it wrong or anything. Hmm. Please don't be too Sundere. You have a similar experience with streamers. Why do you think people stream and <laughs> instead of interact with humans? Uh, let's approach. There we go. Ah, oh, shit, I missed one. Oh no, we need one more. There we go. Successfully blushed. Vamirio Chan. Oh yeah, yeah Vamirio is a character from Hulk. Uh, I, I like her design. <laughs> That's why I've got a better Twitch TV emote. Uh, stolen from someone else on there. Yeah, better Twitch TV is weird with the emote system. You can just you can just add other people's emotes. It's not really st stealing. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Apache Dumpy. There we go. Install Frank or Face Z to see it. Yeah, exactly. Helps prevent doubles. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Hey, my fave, my fave Metaton moment? TM. Right? When everything looks the baddest, he poses dramatically. Like when he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. My fave Metaton moment is when he beats up the heel-turning villains. Even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. Patchy Dumpy. No. Uh, I, I refuse. Goodbye. Time out, one second. <laughs> no. Uh, is there anyone new over here? I have to know. Ah, shit. No. Unfortunate. And we cannot stop the smell of the flowers because I missed. To hate us or something? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh. <laughs> uh, patchy gang. Disowned. Yo, oh, here we go. The smell of cobwebs fills the air. You're filled with determination. Ah, let me grab another glass of water. I got another one. Two feet away. we go. Nice. It has been done. Time for spiders. Unfortunately, there wasn't an item box in between here and there. Oh, no. No. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. Uh, based or cringe? Pasta. Based, yeah. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. Shit, yeah, pasta's good. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I don't know. I heard... We're stuck, boys. That they're awfully stingy with their money. Biggest bops? Oh yeah. Ooh, you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? Ooh, I disagree with that notion. Like tearing spooter legs until they're just writhing balls. Cringe? Hmm. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, struggle. Check. 
Muffet. Tag 38.8. <laughs> Defense 18.8. If she invites you to her parlor, excuse yourself. Guzzo. Don't look so blue, my dearie. Let's go. I think purple's a better look on you. <laughs> Spooder dance? Certified banger? Absolutely. Up next, spiders. Who would have thought? Why so pale? You should be proud. Oh, more spiders. Smells like freshly baked cobwebs. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. Hmm. Okay. Double spiders. Let you go. Don't be silly. Spider vor. Really interesting. Is that what is that what the kids is, is, is that is that what's going on now? Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Fuck the dough nuts. No. Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Moment. There he is. This is this is a good bit. There we go. That's you? That's me. The person who warned us about you. Shit. Ah. Uh, did the giant cupcake? Yes. Mm hmm. Offers us a lot of money for your soul. No. Ah. Uh, little bit of damage. But pours you a cup of spiders. Do you drink? They had such a sweet smile and. <laughs> mm. Game theory? Is that Gaster from Under Snail? Pay money. That makes the attacks easier, yes? Right? It's strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows. Changing shape? The dude hidden in the gimps. The gimps who blended into the dark background. Really? That's you. That's, that's who Razul was talking about. Oh, it's lunchtime, isn't it? I almost forgot to feed my pet. Ah. No. Ah. My bad. I am low on HP. Oh no, I actually game over. Oh no. You cannot give up just yet. Paper, stay determined. God, my face. So <laughs> Noodles. You're not wrong. Uh, anyways. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, what was the... Uh... What did you send? No, just an image of a wiggly. Interesting. Bro, where's your determination? I, I left it in my other my other pair of shorts. Attack. Uh, that that will just lose me the run. There we go. No. Yeah, I remember this actually being a little bit of a difficult boss. Drink the spider tea. Let's go. Alright. But yeah, it should be easy now. <laughs> it should be easy as long as I play well. Wait, do I actually have any healing items? I might not. Hmm. I've got the quiche. That's the only one. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, no, no, I should be fine to just wait. Let's play that play the fight normally. There we go. Actually, yeah, let's try pain. You pay 10G. Muffet reduces our attack for this turn. Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. You just take less damage for one turn. There we go. Exhaust dialogue, triumph. Yeah. That's how that's how, that's how Undertale works. No. There we go. It smells like freshly baked cobwebs. Let's pay IG. Eh? Oh, I'll pay IGN. Hmm, I do want to save my money. For silly things. There we go. And we are regenerating HP. I, I can just pay on all of the, uh, the muffin turns. No. Oh, the croissant almost got me. Yeah, this one's easy. Easy. Oh, and, yeah, and it gets more expensive. Every time. Lunchtime. Yeah, hell yeah. It's literally me. Wait, no, someone already claimed them. Damn it. Nah, too difficult to slip between. No. Uh... That's right. A bitch. All the spiders clap along to the music. Spider clapping. They've got the whole, they, they've got small hands. With that money, the spider clans can finally be reunited. There we go. Double donuts. You haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. Even if they go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is impassable alone. There we go. Where are you with your spider clan? Ah, I slaughtered your whole spider clan just to test your power. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. Imagine a limousine full of spiders. <laughs> If only. Sasuke is really cool. Sakura the beautiful. Yeah, and with all the leftovers, we could have a nice vacation. Or even though the spider baseball field. <laughs> the German uh, Naruto opening is incredible. A couple of spiders. There we go. But enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? <laughs> Nah, no. it's too slow. All right. Ah, too many ups. Ah, there we go. You're still alive. <laughs> oh, my pet. Looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins. What? They're saying that they saw you and. You help donate to their cause. Oh my, this has all been a big must understanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul. They must have met a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime. And for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. Just kidding. I'll spare you now. There we go. Don't want to eat your muffins anymore. That's good for you. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That was fun. See you again, dearie. That don't trust strange spider ladies. At least not that much. We did it. 
It's a poster for Metaton's la uh, latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Oh no. Oh, that human! Could it be? My one true love? <laughs> oh, my love! Please run away! Monster King forbids you stay. Humans must live far apart, even if it breaks my heart. <laughs> They'll put you in the dungeon. It'll suck, and then you'll die a lot. Be really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. So sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? Great. Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire! <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Uh... No. Uh... No, piranhas. There we go. Shit. Ah, I failed it. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, good morning, Caleb. Is that Kikai Maho Shoujo Metatron Chan? Eh? It's Kikai. Hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. It looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. I don't know, maybe. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my. Any minute now. Robotic cough. Oh, watch out. I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh no. How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Hmm. That's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound and then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Kuro. Took you a while to notice, yeah. Yeah, kinda. Metatron... Uh, Metatron is trying to do it. His own thing. 
Let's check. His metal body still renders him invulnerable to attack. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Uh, hey, this seems bad. Don't worry. There's a, one last thing I installed on in your phone. See that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu is glowing. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Meditan's presence? Oh, that yellow glow! Let's go! Brother to Mike the TV. Who's Mike the TV? Now press Z. Oh! Oh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought! Etc. Whatever! Dang, dang. Uh, looks like you beat him. He, he did a really good job out there. All thanks to... No. Murder now. Murder. <laughs> um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like, I couldn't do anything without... without ending up letting everyone down. But... guiding you has made me feel... a lot better about myself. So, th thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway. We're almost at the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. <laughs> hunt them down. H hunt Alphys down. Finish the job. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Thanks, bro. Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like... Don't tell Undyne about this, then, okay? He seems happy. Uh... Snass! Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway to the right for some great deals! Based to cringe the two guards. Uh, based. What about the alley to the left? It's just a regular wall. Unfortunate. Hey, I heard you go to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Great. Thanks for treating me. <laughs> Wait, I can just do that. Over here. I don't know shortcut. <laughs> I don't think that works. Uh, I don't know. That... Why is everyone in Underdale hot? Oh yeah, nothing nothing like... Short Skeleton Man. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over. <laughs> you must really want to go home. Hey. I know the feeling, but oh. Though. Going out of Undertale is one thing. It's still a beauty, beautiful game. Yeah, but... Looking at looking at skeletons and saying hot skeleton. That's something else. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to make him sound cringe, but I guess I am. My, my apologies. Maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Uh, is what you have to do. Really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. <laughs> Sans is from a different dimension. Bonus skeleton. I'll make sure to add that to the spreadsheet. Hey, let me tell you a story. It's almost a century in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. Suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Wh who's there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. This is who? This is a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's, she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming. And she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, at 
after a dozen of them. She knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yodel. Well, needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes to the door. It rules. He didn't notice he changes the voice. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ariel? Wait, what? <laughs> Don't you mean Toriel? Yeah. <laughs> One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. I if a human ever comes to this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes. Has an integrity you can't say no to. You get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would happen- would have happened if she hadn't said anything. Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. He wants to go home, but he does not want to go to the overworld. Ah, hmm. Now, I wonder if that all, that, that, that whole gaster skeleton stuff will be expounded on. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Hey. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Died many times in Sans fight. Yeah. That's how it goes. Who this? Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winded and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go, ugh, two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. Ow, I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. Talking to you about this, it's breaking my heart. <laughs> That's not funny. Uh, sure loves puzzle. No, no difference. It's a performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, sands. Seems there's a break now. It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for. Gorgeous style, style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. These are all Metaton. Mood? That's a platoon of fiscuses. Incredible. It's a potted plant. Uh... This guy. I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up. So I kept walking in anyways. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Ficus. Good luck, buddy. That, that's what the kids say is, is, a, is, a, is a mood. Hmm. No. Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Yeah. Damn it. We can't. 
There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain, built at 281X. Might have been added last week. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. What's this, what's this Homestuck character? This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight, um... I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. As a slime, I'm outraged. Oh shit, there he is. <clears throat> well, an MTT brand, Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger, sparkle up your day, trademark. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. <laughs> no! Starfay. Glamburger. Legendary hero. Steak in the shape of Meditan's face. Don't ask, please. Uh... I'll buy a glam burger for fun. <laughs> oh god. Fringed little man. The customer is always right. What? Uh, why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Uh, sorry. So, I wanted to be an actor. Take it from me, little buddy. Life advice. I'm getting on in years. So, get, let me let me give you some advice, little buddy. You still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. Romance advice. Listen, I like you, little buddy. So, I'm gonna give you... Uh, I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them, they're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. Every year you t take your edit of that frame and add another year to it. Oh god. <laughs> Based. 19 years old? Oh no. So I went out to the alleyway to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what happened next. Then my boss, uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But, as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Mediton. Spill his spaghetti burgers. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. Why is Mediton bad? God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why else? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally a freaking rectangle. You know, one time, I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. <laughs> future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. Probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait, there's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me. For everyone. So stay, stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Sell. Hmm, why not try selling that to the two chicks in the alley? Alright, later dude. Anytime, little buddy. Yeah, that's how fast food works. You be nice to the to the customer service or whatever to the to the to the workers to the employees and they stop giving a fuck. 
me turn into a human being. Yes, we know, the elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 G a room. Interested? Nah. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a spark sparkular day. Uh, go check over here. There should be something of interest. Oh, room service. Got my CT. No. Then it's locked on the inside. Oh, room service. Got my cinnamon bun? No. Then you hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. What? But you didn't have anything appealing. Hmm. Seems busy. Yeah. Learning how to draw? Come to the art lessons on the second floor, located in a similar place. That, that's your hint to so sorry. And then there's a sign that says, come back at October 10th, 8 p.m. or whatever. And then you have to set your system clock to October 10th, 8 p.m. <laughs> uh, it's something. All right, let's check the other ways. And there's the alleyway shop as well. Hmm. This takes us back there. Three hours? Yeah. It's a whole lot of work just to take one look at the character and die from cringe. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. Uh... I still have the Glam Burger. We should be good. Actually... can't look at that. Hmm. If you, want, if you wanted to do that, just go to twitch.tv slash Razul. Okay. Hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! Uh, hmm. Jump food. Interesting. <laughs> Empty gun. Bullets not included. Uh, attack up on one. Cowboy hat. And the mystery key. Ah, uh, yeah. The shout out? No. <laughs> uh, let's buy some junk food. Uh, I don't remember exactly where this is to. Hmm. I think it was something interesting. Yeah, we can send Temi to college later. Uh, burger pants. Yo. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. But he's kind of cute, too. Come on, caddy. Don't you have any standards? Nope. Okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird. And then acts, acts like it's our fault that he acts that way. Like, when he, we asked him to get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I, I wasn't. Caddy. <laughs> hmm. I'm Braddy. This is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy. This is my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> the stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, the stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally we could buy all of it. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it in the garbage. It's, it's good garbage. It's, like, really good garbage. Origin of the garbage. Wait, where did we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. <laughs> Please, don't, don't... Hmm. Don't use strange guns you find in dumpsters. They <laughs> probably have evidence on them that ties you to something you don't want to be tied to. Oh my god, Mediton. Oh my god, Mediton. He's like, my robot husband. Actually, he's like, my robot husband. I think we're like, both going to marry him. We're like, already married to him. He just like, doesn't know it yet. 
origin of Metaton. So, like, Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right now, he was after he was built. He acts like Alphys was an old friend. I can't hear anything. Uh, everything's working fun on my end. Uh, uh, but they're like not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Yeah, hmm. Audio is still going. Uh, unless Twitch has messed something up, or you accidentally muted. Hmm. At the very least, audio is still being recorded. Yeah. Oh my god, Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live on our street. She's like a big sister. Who works on your machine? Uh, get more in GT, honestly. Go. Ah. There we go. Uh, I mean, like, if your big sister took you on trips to the dump, she showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So, Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So, after seeing Metaton, Asgore I asked her to do all the science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. Oh no. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's like a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's like, so nice. God, we're like, we're like, so hyped for his destruction of humanity. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, Benetton. He's like, my robot husband. Okay, same. Nah, let's leave. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> my throat. Too much Valley Girl accent. That's, that's the Valley Girl accent. Or is that the Beck? I don't know. Listen. Uh, if Caleb's still here, he would know the difference. There we go. And I believe Metaton is this way. Yeah, let's go straight to the core. Hmm. Ring. Huh? Wh who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh, oh well. We can't worry about that now. Kind of want to unhit your six mouths and sing the song that ends the Valley Girl bloodline. <laughs> like. Understandable. Oh, yeah. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator to the top of the, uh, up to the top of the core. Was it still here? I didn't do it. It's not mine. Elevator isn't working. What? The elevator should be working. Well, then, go to the right and keep heading up. Hey, why don't you try to go to the right first? Watch out! Magic. That's a cool design. This physical, uh, this magical mercenary only says magic words. Hell oh, yeah, yeah, this is great. Please and thank you. <laughs> I, I see the joke. Please and thank you, it's a magic word. Why is Jig so mad? Uh, smells like magic. Because he smells like magic. Magic interrupts you by chattering to itself. It's gibberish dizzies you. Your defense drops by one. Abracadabra. Oh shit. That was the wrong choice. They gave Rayman a new job. Oh, that was enough to spare him? Interesting. That was close. Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just got to keep heading forward. This kingdom of loathing dying. 
Hopefully. No. <laughs> uh, I've heard good things about it, and I played a little bit. Is that, is that a Kingdom of Loathing reference? No, the Kingdom of Loathing's pretty cool. It... Hmm. It sold me on the on the on the term brained. Oh, Jake is the developer. Ah, uh, yeah. Looks like he can't proceed until you hit the switch. But, but those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order: orange, orange, blue. Got it. Move until the third one. Easy. Remember clearing Hobopolis with the lads <laughs> all the time back in the day. Uh, it's still around, I think. Oh my god, are, are you okay? I- I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong order. Everything's fine, okay? Let's just keep heading to the right. Uh, crossroads, um... Uh, tr tr try heading to the right. Check. Night Night blocks the way. Check. Night Night. Attack 36. Defense 36. This Megaton mercenary wields the Good Morning Star. To troubleshooting. I don't know. I do. Don't know he's French. Night Night breathes deeply. Let's sing. You sing an old lullaby. Night Night starts to look sleepy. Close your eyes. Night Night's armor emits a dark sheen. You keep singing. Night Night closes its eyes a bit. Goodbye. No. Smells like stardust. You keep singing. Night Night falls asleep. Quick, kill him! No! Night Night is snoring. I can't lose the pacifist run now. Uh, are you okay? Why didn't you go? Why didn't you head to the right? Come on, you trust me, don't you? I thought this was. I thought this was important. Kill. No. That <laughs> night light. Yeah. Now seven HP. You used the mystery key, but nothing happened. Oh shit, I forgot the... Wait, what does it say? It's too bent to fit on your keychain. I may as well... Eat a junk food. Would it be killed, Flowey? I'm like, cringe or be cringed. But more lasers. Okay, I, I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're... They're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I. It's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for the whole node. Then you can, then you can walk across. Okay, go. Wait, stop. The, the power, it's turning itself back on. Damn it. This isn't supposed to... I... I'm going to turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little, and then stop. Okay? Y you won't get hurt. Ah, shit. Just a little bit off. There we go. See? I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. Uh... Okay, you should... you should... I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry, I... I... I have to go. Office. The air is filled with the smell of ozone. It fills you with determination. Let's go. North, the warrior's path. West, the sage's path. Any path leads to the end. East, the end. Uh, I cannot fight, I cannot think. But with patience, I will make my way through. Can you just stand here? With patience? 
That'd be sick. Ozone, the sequel, to, the, the prequel to Ozone 2. To the east, this is the end. There's 100G inside the trash can. Will you take it? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, 100G. Mm -mm. You unlocked it. Oh no. Traverse the northern room, and the end will open. Wins a lot and final frog it. Uh, let's console. Oh no, he can re he reassure Wims a lot. What it's doing is right. I've made my peace, Robert. Robert. Oh shit. Wims a lot shakes his head dismissively. Pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Wims a lot remembers its conscience. But give up. There we go. A little bit of HP. Wims a lot doesn't want the fight anymore. Wolf. Wait, what? What the frog it doing? Oh no! I died to the frog it. Shit. Uh. You're going to be alright. Paper. Stay determined. Streamer died. Agamon Owutu Owo. Drop by Mirios. No, my one weakness. No. Get lost and stay that way. Hey. Oh, welcome to Blunder Fail. Traverse the northern room and we'll open. No. Uh, thank you for the Fs in chat. Uh. There we go. Pray first. Alright, spare. Okay. Let's go. And final frog it. Mm, mystify. He did something mysterious. Final frog it recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Thoughtful croak. Yeah. Final frog it seems reluctant to fight you. There we go. Yeah, these enemies are actually difficult. Okay. Yeah. chan Huh? Mercenaries. Oh, shit. Uh... Night Night takes several turns. Just... Oh, shit. We have to be confused, though, for... God damn it. Uh... We're to stare. No, I didn't mean to stare. Wait, shit. What did I... Oh, shit. I was supposed to talk. Uh, corner orb. The intimidating corner orb was weakened by your glare. Just focus. Adieu. Oh. Frick. No. Let's talk. We're dizzied now, unfortunately. Shit. Uh... The synth in the song was was a sequ sequencer preset from Toxic Biohazard. Interesting. I don't know exactly what that means for the lore. Is, is Gaster a DJ? Alright, sing. Farewell. Oh, this one ain't so bad. I can dodge projectiles like that, easy. Hell yeah. Nothing, it just means you know where they got the sound from. Ah, but there's an earlier song that sounded like it had Zun trumpets. Just mid eye trumpets. Oh no. Vampire with the wings. Uh. Now nah, we keep our items. We die like real men with items in our inventory. Astigmatism. Uh huh? Hmm. I mean, we can get whims a lot in one turn. Ray. No, we can't kill, no! I don't think we're strong enough to. Spare. Just one. 
Just a little kill. Just for fun. Ah, shit. Uh... Mystify. Stop provoking Ribbit. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. One more hit, and we're dead. Oh, no! That's not so bad. <laughs> hmm. Let's take the quiche. Kill it. Nah. You've seen enough. This sounds like an acid sequencer. The toxic biohazard plot again. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let's don't pick on. You don't pick on astigmatism. Finally, someone gets it. And was that what we needed to do? Yeah, that is. Hmm. Okay, don't spam chat too much. There we go. And there's the switch. <laughs> Test it right now. Hmm. If recreating the uh, entire Undertale soundtrack. There we go. Under G. There we go. And oh yeah, this is the the way. All right. Meditant should be coming up soon. There we go. The true murder is leaving them alive to live another day. <laughs> Some new age stuff. God damn it. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. You're filled with determination. Good morning, Retro J plays. One weird kid in school be like. Hmm. Be like what? Kill? <laughs> this should take us back. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up some healing items before the uh, the battle. Dimensional box. There we go. Now, put that away. That. Uh, hmm. Take a monster candy. <laughs> oh, we could have grabbed the spider donut the whole time. Ah, uh, shit. Talk residue. Hmm. 918 gold. It's fine. We can buy some more junk food. Just a little bit of junk food as a treat. <laughs> uh. There we go. Easy. Nice. And now we will fight the final Meditan battle. I'm pretty sure he's right there. I think that was the bit. Hmm. All right. Let's go. Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. You are filled with determination. There he is. Oh yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have a little showdown. Murdering their chance to experience the blister's eternal slumber. No! It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not. Malfunction, reprogramming, get real. This was all just a big show. An act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. Get off the toaster. So she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. All so she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. All so you would think she's the great person that she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside this room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. 
You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? I was the kind of person to become a VTuber to collab with their Oshi. No. And what's a good show without a plot twist? Hey, what's going on? The door just locked itself. <laughs> the Alpha's Gambit. <laughs> Sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. We've got a finale that will drive you wild. Real drama, real action, real bloodshed. On, on a new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. Seriously, his metal body is invulnerable. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself. That worthless pea shooter won't work on me, darling. Don't you understand what acting is? Metatum. What's the poster doing? Winning. Burn. This is probably what you'll do if things continue in this matter. Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. Let's go, space invaders. Spare. But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. There we go. Marathon. Then, using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Blitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? It's sh that's show business, baby. Come on, let me shoot the phone. I can't see. Don't, don't give up, okay? There's one last way to beat Metathon. It's, um, it's... This is a work in progress, so don't judge too hard. But you know how Metathon always faces forward? That's because there's a switch on his backside. So, so if you, you can turn him around up and press this switch, he'll be, um, he'll be vulnerable. Well, you gotta go. Seems like a good time to turn Metathon around. You tell Metathon that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror! Right, I have to look perfect for our grand finale. What oh, is nice? Hmm, I don't see it. Where is it? Did you? Just flip. My switch. Murdering children and consuming their souls. Uh... Cringe. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh, my. If you flip my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. <laughs> I'll make your last living moments... absolutely beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. His weak point is his heart-shaped core. Lights, camera, action! Check. Metaton. Still. Violence plus 25. Our ratings go down if you don't do anything. Uh, let's use the Glamberg. That adds ratings. On brand food plus 500. Eat the glam burger. The audience loves the brand. Your HP was maxed out. Drama, romance, bloodshed. Oh shit. Oh no. They love the violence. Hmm. It's boast. You say you aren't going to get hit at all. Ratings ga gradually increase during Metaton's turn. Shit. 
disappointment. No! Good morning, Nico Niv. Just in time for the banger? Absolutely. You turn around and scoff at the audience. They're rooting for your destruction this turn. There we go. Metaton. Oh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. All the girls are watching. What do you like most about... Uh... Wait. There we go. <laughs> that gives you the most points. That's right. Legs was the correct answer. <laughs> oh, Metaton is saving your essay for future use. Hmm. <laughs> All the girls are watching. No. You're watching that's your aunt. It's funeral. <laughs> oh no, that uh please be respectful of the dead. Uh let's boast again. The essay really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Shit. I failed the boast. Ratings down. Cringe. There we go. Uh... It's the junk food. Eating garbage lowers your ratings. No! Uh... There we go. Oh shit, they got more attacks. Uh... Yeah, let's go. How are you on the dance floor? There we go. Shooting his heart was lowering the ratings? I don't think so. Let's continue boasting. Can you keep up the pace? There we go. Easy. It's a heel turn. Take a p you turn and scoff at the audience. They're rooting for your destruction. Lights, camera, bombs. There we go. More boosts. Things are blowing up. Easy. Time for your, your union regulated break. Yeah, he, oh, he's going. Oh, he's vibing. Uh, yeah, yeah, he'll turn. I don't think you lose ratings if you don't. Yeah. We've grown so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? Oh, shit. No! Nah, nothing but legs. Hmm. Let's pose. You pose dramatically. The audience nods. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, uh, uh, arms. Who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win. Fuck, he's grooving already. That's recording. Rewinding. Oh no. I see, that was what I was supposed to do. Uh... Spider Donut. Eat the Spider Donut. Nah, no bonus. There we go. Easy. Let's, uh, let's pose. The show must go on. Oh, that's not too bad. The d drama a action. Ho ho! No, they love the violence. And lights, camera. Enough of this. Do you really want humanity to perish, or do you just believe in yourself that much? Let's go. Let's boast. Ah, how inspiring. Well, darling, it's either me or you. I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Shit. 
Ghost is over. No, I fucked it. Then, are you the star? Can you really protect humanity? Radians are almost at max. Let's pose dramatic. Yes, despite being hurt, you pose dramatically. The audience applauds. Oh, look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our uh, last show? Oh. Hi, Mediton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but... Seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life, vicariously. I can't tell, but... I guess this is the last episode? I'll miss you, Mediton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, Blue... They already hung up. He's no longer a two view. I'll take another call though. Mediton, your showman is so happy. Mediton, I like don't know what I'll watch without you. Mediton is a mediton shaped hole in my mediton shaped heart. Uh I I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling. Perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is... inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and... Well, I'll be alright. Knock em dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. You when your Oshi graduates. No! <laughs> mm. I, I managed to open the lock. Are you two... Oh my god. Mediton! Mediton, are you... Thank god, it's just the batteries. Mediton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you mess up, I could always... I could just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? It's only a torso and head left. The, the legs are gone. Poor legs. I, I just need a moment. There we go. Oh, only a moment, actually. So sorry about that. Let's ke keep going. No. She doesn't- we can't talk to her about it. So, so you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be- you must be... Pretty excited about all that, huh? That's what Alphys gets for not buying Duracell batteries. No. You're f finally... You'll finally get to go home. Come on, confess, you bastard. W wait. I mean, um, I... I was just going to, um... Say goodbye and... The, I can't take this anymore. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. 
if you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. Elevator ride, let's go. Hmm. Yeah, never buy brand name batteries. They're just more expensive, I think. Homesick? Oh, I thought you said... <laughs> I read that as homestuck intent for a moment there. Uh, You nearly got me. No, no text. Just save. Elevator is in use. Elevator isn't working. <laughs> you get you get taste. Uh. Hmm. Nice toy commercials, buddy. Hmm. Oh, there is something that I'd like to do. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. This looks a little familiar, does it not? The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. It's a golden flower. There's four seats at this table. Seems like gardening tools. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Hmm. Oh, there's frogets. Oh, a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Hmm. It's a golden flower. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. We go over or under. You made a you made a puzzle, kinda. You have to respect it. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. You took the key and put it in your phone's key on your phone's keychain. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. And it's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Hmm. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. It's a golden flower. Uh, no, no longer water sausages. Dusty toys. It's a twin-sized bed. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Mm, will you take it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No glizzies. Uh, the forbidden glizzy. Uh, there's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Uh, what a comfortable bed. If you laid down here, you might not ever get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. It's a yeah, twin sized. Wait. Does the picture on the wall have anything? It's a drawing of a golden flower. Aw. I can't inspect the, the stand. Room under renovations. Hmm. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. 
took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Despite everything, it's still you. That's a nice line. Uh, it's Asgore's journal. All the current pages say, Nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's just a chair. It's a king-sized bed. Macaroni art of a flower. For King Dad. Mm. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. No sock drawer, unfortunately. You know OST? <laughs> Absolutely. It's a trophy! The number one nuzzle Nose Nuzzle Champs 98. Oh god, I forgot about that. No! <laughs> Breathe the toes. N no. There's an old calendar from the end of 20, uh, 21X. A date is circled on it. Hmm. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day... The next day... The human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free.
Oh. Uh, unfortunately, I have to close and reopen the game for something here. Uh, get ready for this. Holy shit, Lois. Hmm. It's sand. Uh. Hmm. Sand funded tail. Whatever. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. They turn sands from the memes into a real character. No! Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. Sans is real. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's, e what's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. Holy shit, Sand Undertale from the hit game Undertale. Uh, uh, uh. It stands for a level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Uh, of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Uh, I hate to do that right after this, but... This is important. Or some other fun stuff. Let's see... Uh, if you're not aware of this, you'll be blown away a little bit. Maybe. Don't worry. This should work. <laughs> it's a good loading screen. Uh... Access the Steam community while playing. No. Hmm. All right, come on. Finally made it. All right. Yeah, no love. Now, yeah. Let's see. Look. Wait a second. That look on your face while I was talking. You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? I suppose something like this. I suspected something like this. You're always acting like you know what's going to happen. Like you've seen it all before. So, I have a request for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells it to me. 
they'll have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Oh, you don't have to record it. Okay, good. And... So, so yeah, this is kind of a cheese, I think. I think, I believe you're supposed to just beat the game again. However, you can just do it like this. <laughs> yeah. By restarting after you've, uh... You've cleared the... Yeah, or after you talk to him, but before you save again. There we go. Uh, no Steam community this time. What's going to happen? Yeah, you'll see. I'm not lactose intolerant. Hmm. It's, it's not that much of a cheese. It's better than playing through the game multiple times. Uh, access your heart and do what you believe is true. You've never played it in your lifetime, but you want to be spoiled. This isn't too much of a crazy spoiler. You'll, you'll get a key that lets you go somewhere. Huh? You have something to say to me? What? Ah, uh, code word. Can you speak a little louder? Did you... Just say, I'm a stupid doo-doo butt? Wow, I can't believe you'd say that. Not only is that completely infantile, but it's also my secret code word. That, however, isn't good enough. What you need is the secret secret code word. It's only for people that know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. Wait, no, whimsper. <laughs> I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Alright. One more time. Okay, fine. A little bit of Steam community as a treat. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're, we're time traveling right now. Let's go. We're accessing the powers of Kaim. Or whatever they use in under... I mean, <laughs> the under scrolls. Elder scrolls. Does this capture my mouse? Oh, it does. Neat. Cheesing it, boys. Ah, uh, so you finally made it. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What? Uh, a code word. Can you speak a little louder? Yes, yeah, cheese. Did you just say, I'm the legendary fart master? Wow. That's, uh, really childish. Why would you think that was a secret code word? A uh, secret, secret code word. Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret, secret code word. However, I do have a secret, secret, triple secret code word, which you just said. So, I guess you're qualified. Here's the key to my room. It's time. You learned the truth. When you looked, the key was already on your keychain. Let's go. Uh, this is getting dumber. Oh, it's already, it, it already finished getting dumber. That was the end of the, the code words. Alright. It shouldn't be too far to mess Undertale. Ah, shit. No, it's the long, the long elevator. Uh... Oh, wait, no, that's the one that takes us back here? Really? Wait, what? Wait, this is... You never knew the secret. Oh. Well, you're gonna get to see Sans's room. <laughs> uh. There we go. You don't take the elevator. Oh, is that a faster way? Oh, shit. Uh, do you? I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, I guess we can buy some items as well. Let's see. Oh, the elevator's to the right. Hmm. There we go. 
Uh, I think left four one. Yeah, this should be the the, the earliest one. Uh, right next to the fast travel point. Is Undertale free to play? It, it's not. Deltarune Chapter 1 and 2 are, I think? Hmm. I mean, you could just watch a Let's Play of it or something. Uh. Yeah. It is fun, though. No. Pet, pet, pet. The neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. Hmm. That's a strange hint, I guess. Because that's for, uh, the dog. You can sail the seven seas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh. That furry person throws ice all day. Nobody knows where it goes. Uh, hey, I know. Alphys told me. It all goes, uh, it goes to Hotland to cool down the core. Wow, I'm dying. I didn't know you knew you liked nerdy stuff. Just strength and fighting. Are you kidding? Why wouldn't I? The brain's the biggest muscle of all. It's what you did? Interesting. Uh, I'll call the cops. No. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's go talk to Sans on the tail. Hey, there's something. Hey, punk. What's up? Achoo. Papyrus, how can he stand this cold? I have no skin! So why don't we stand in Grilby's instead? Because I hate grease! But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards! There you go. Ah, I don't remember what the mysterious key is for. No, definitely not that. Here we go. You unlock the door and enter. Oh. A skinless human. BL material. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, Sans, have you seen my... Oh, hello. You aren't Sans. Wait a second. Why were you using the treadmill in the dark? Is Sans pranking you across time and space? I hate it when he does that. How immature can you get? Also, have you seen my action figures? Wait, I know where to look. In my collection. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a genius. All the time. It's a treadmill. There's a message attached. Is that a melon on his mattress? I, I don't know. The truth is that... <laughs> is that you got owned, nerd. <laughs> no! Uh... It's a worn mattress. The sheets are bunched up in a weird, greasy ball. Well, this, that's mattress sheets. It's an uncovered pillow. It's a thank you later. It's addressed to Santa. We got got. It's a lamp. Turn it on. There's no light bulb. A flashlight is stuck in the bulb socket. Turn it on. The flashlight is out of batteries. Inside the drawer is a silver key. You put it on your keychain. Clothes and trombones are shoved in haphazardly. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a big cabbage or lettuce. It's Sans' dirty sock pile. S scandalous It appears to be a self-sustaining tornado made of trash. Incredible. We got got. Not entirely. Oh no, not that way. You unlocked the door and entered. There's a photo album inside the drawer. There are photos of Sans with a lot of people you don't recognize. He looks happy. You look in the drawer, there's some kind of badge. Blueprints. 
You can't read the symbols they're written in. Or maybe it's just the handwriting. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. Hmm. There's a strange machine behind the curtain. It seems to be broken. And there you go, that's the, the secret, I guess. Hmm. Uh, so Sans maybe probably is from another timeline? Question mark? Game theory? Fans dark lore. Exclamation mark. Uh. Hmm. The heart locket. Uh. Defense 15. That's just a theory. A game theory. Sans is Sans is Ness. Sans is actually Ness from the future, from Earthbound, as a skeleton. From the alternate universe. Ugh. Lock it. it says best friends forever. Let's go ahead and equip that. I believe that's better. Yeah, stained apron. Ah, oh, this one. Yeah, this one heals every other turn. Worn dagger. You equip the dagger. Uh, let's put the notebook in the apron back. Such a silly theory. I get more meteor keeper. The the sands is Ness. That that one's just goofy. Uh, I'll keep the snowman piece. I thought you could do something with it. The real reason Matt Pat gave him the copy. <laughs> Am I actually Sans? <laughs> That's the best I can do. Uh, yeah, good morning, uh, Gentle Corgis and Seven Combo as well. Uh, who is Ness? That's the the, the kid from uh, Smash Brothers. <laughs> uh, let's buy some bicycles. Should be good. Let's, let's save now. And let's head back. Oh wait, has he figured it out yet? That lady over there has been going on a walk for a while now. But she hasn't moved an inch from where she's standing. Well, I haven't either, but I don't want her to notice me over here. Good morning, Song Leaves. It is... It's Earthbound. Hmm. Huh? Yes. I'm taking my bunny for a walk. It's just a very slow one. Hmm. Yeah, welcome to... Uh, Mother 5. <laughs> Mother 4 already... Well. Welcome to <laughs> Undertale. Alright. Let's go. To the final boss fight. At, yeah, tomorrow we'll handle the... Uh, yeah, Mother 4, uh, was a fan project. Tra la la la. The waters are wild today. That's good luck. There we go. Yeah, Mother 4 was a fan project that died. I believe they made the entire soundtrack. I don't know what else got finished, but, yeah. That happened. Come again sometime. Tra la la la. Alright. But yeah, it's stuff like that is a little sad to hear about. Should have been a game nerd. Eh. Gamer. <laughs> Sorry, gamers are the, the most oppressed race. Or whatever. Eh. I thought you had to remember this dude's name for something. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? Yeah. Blame Hotsman. How could I have been be so easily defeated? I always remember that you remembered. Yeah, Flame Flame Hotsman, I believe. Alright. The hotel. Hmm. Maybe junk food is a better healing item. Or whatever. Too late. You feel out of touch. Uh 
haven't kept up with the real gamer news in a while. There we go. Out of touch. Out of time. But anyway. Ah. And. We're almost there. Yeah, they, the last fight is Asgore. Uh, obviously, I guess. Alright. Skip past his house, and... Last corridor. The actual last corridor in the game. Alright. Oh shit. No, here's the last corridor. Throne room. However, we have something over here. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Paper. It's empty. And there are a few more off screen. It's for us. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Dum de dum. Oh? Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, perfect weather for a game of catch. He he is a nice guy, kinda. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. It's a throne. There's another it's another throne covered by a white sheet. He's a nice guy for a child murderer. Yeah. How tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. <laughs> you feel bad. Are you ready? If you're not, I understand. I am not ready either. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. 
Goodbye. Uh, welcome back, Boonie Rapuni. My speed run. Yeah. Almost nine hours. Uh, you weren't there. Someone someone mentioned something about Ina and armpits. Goodbye. <laughs> God. No mercy. Asgore attacks. You actually have to fight him. Oh, good morning, Karagi. Yeah, welcome. You had to finish beating Reach on Legendary. Okay, based. You're welcome. <laughs> you arrived at the right time. There we go. You can talk to him. Yeah. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. Oh wait, oh yeah, no, this is the this is the ending. Oh, okay, yeah. His hands tremble for a moment. One hit won't end it. Only like kill, yeah? You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Hmm. You could go for a normal ending. Nah. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Chat will remember. Ah, eh, no problem. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Oh shit. I didn't remember the secret. I forgot about that. However, we kept the pie this whole time. You ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. Defense down. TT boss. Eh? Darkest dungeon. Seems talking won't do any more good. No? Oh, he did orange for a second there. I, I swear you have to... Yeah, you actually have to kill him. Oh, no description. Ah, shit. I walked into that both times. There we go. Nice. Because <laughs> he takes away your mercy. Ah, oh, shit. Wrong, wrong... No. Uh, come on. No, shit. Um, forget it. There we go. Easy. <laughs> I'm not used to attacking in this game. Sh sh shut up. There we go. Easy. Sh fuck. But you have to keep talking. Even after? Uh, I might be wrong. Maybe I did damage, and now it doesn't count. Seems like talking won't do any more good. Hmm. Shit. Told you what happened? Oh, just doing one damage ends the fight? Hmm. No, you're right, you beat him up. you do hit him, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then the next fight. Something else happens. That's what I thought. There we go. There we go. 
Whatever, I can mess with the game files. Ah, shit. Back when you played, you killed them? Killed the, the neutral route final boss, and then it put you in the true pacifist route. Yeah, it's something like that. No. No. There we go. Okay, that, t that attack is actually getting a little scary. Shit. Uh... No. No, I should have healed. Shit. Uh... Obstacle. Unicycle. Ah, uh, not in time a long time ago. Okay. I mean, it should work like this. Ah, there we go. This is a good hit. Finally. Come on. Shit. There we go. No. I can't die to the... to the final boss. That's lame. Uh... Dog has it do. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. Hell yeah. Oh fuck. No. No, this is... Super hexagon. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I still have one junk food. There we go. 17 HP. Easy. This doesn't even make a Satan level. You just crash the game before you get there. Duh. Mega Satan's easy. Fuck. Hmm. There we go. Uh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Let's go. After everything I have done to hurt you. You would rather stay down here and suffer. Wife gone. No. Then live happily on the surface. Human. I promise you. For as long as you remain here. My wife and I will take care of you. As best we can. We can sit in the living room. Telling stories. Eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... Like a family. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. 
it's kill or be killed. Let's fucking go. Oh yeah, it crashed the game. God damn it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hmm. Yeah, it closes the game. Uh, that's supposed to happen. Let's go. Hopefully that didn't accidentally show anything. That's what happens if you water your flower with black tar heroin. One day they all disappeared without a trace. Here we go. Welcome. Flowey, my world. Let's go. Little shot before. Yeah. Uh, this is great. Oh, it's just a pee. Can you use a real Nintendo system? Howdy! It's me, Flowey! What's the Nintendo? What are you talking about? Flowey the flower! I owe you a huge thanks! You really did a number on that old fool! Without you, I never could have gotten past him! But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've gotten the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. You fucking ready? Oh. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Let's fucking go. You... <laughs> now you, you feel bad for Asgore. Yeah, this is this is this is one of the the best moments in the game. Face revealed. No. Ah. Uh... Let's fucking go. When the bag goes unmasked. No. There we go. Oh shit. There we go. Ah, oh, I got hit. Come on. No, 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 Oh, change of style, yeah, it's great. Sport gamer. It looks like a sport character, yeah. What the fuck? Oh shit, there it is. He called for help. Yeah, all the all the equipment that you find in the game is from the other uh oh shit, the the, the other souls. The other humans that showed up and then died. There we go. Yeah, if you can't if you couldn't tell, I love thematic changes of art style. Oh shit. Morning. Oh no. Hmm. Gloves. I mean, the boys playing Glover. Shit, there it is. He called for help. Ah, oh, shit. 
Yo, is that Master Hand? I can my tell you. Look at that. Look at that. Need a hand. Ah, oh, fuck, he's loading the save files. You son of a bitch. No, 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 no. Yeah, we got it. Oh, shit. Anything but ballet shoes. Called for help. shouldn't matter too much if we die or not, because it just doesn't end the fight, I think. I think. It's been a while. Uh... Come on. Here is the notebook. Called for help. Dreams, success, love, protect. Yeah, let's go. God damn it! You save file manipulating. Nobody stop him. Son of a bitch. God, so annoying. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh shit, we're almost there. Yo, is this, is this Game & Watch, Brian Bacon? There we go. Act. Yo, eggs. damage. Yeah, I think it does make you take less damage over time. Hmm, not as hard as it looks. Who's that on the TV? Uh, that's me. It's Karagi underscore channel. <laughs> hmm. He called for help. What the hell? There we go. That we did it. I guess that's Flowey on the <laughs> on the TV. Hmm. Let's go. Mr. Field. No. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. Let's go. Get fucked, nerd. No. No. Souls of the Damned. Kinda. Maybe that's supposed to be the human souls. I don't know. Hmm. Like, Flowey does. Oh, had a human soul. In a, in a for a while. Something strange. Come on. Oh no, he's going down the other phases. Nah, it doesn't matter if we take damage. I think. Okay, this is new. We just have to press the fight button. Come on. 
He's plenty of HP. Yo. the secret uh, technique of finger guns. N no, this can't be happening. You, you. You idiot. No, he's loading the save file. Hehehe. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I'm the god of this world. Snakes <laughs> come No. And you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. He called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Eh? What? Welcome back, Raddy. How'd you... Well, I'll just... What? Where, where are my powers? The souls. What are they doing? No, no! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! It's when you drink- that's when you drink Diet Peg Nog. They go speed. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? How it feels that you five gone no. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. Gee, when you wake up without coffee, I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Eh? Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. And... <laughs> ran away without legs. Yeah. Nut Dealer. By Toby Fox. Or Secret, Secret Shinobi. Timmy Chang. Kenju, Mary Jo... Magnolia Porter, Betty Huang. Oh no, this is Kikidichi, Chess Clairvaux, this no, no, no. Oh no. Bell Sprout. <laughs> Bell Sprout's a good Pokemon. Hmm. Uh, there's more to True Pacifist. Flowey, more like Sad Lad. Eh? Yeah, there's a little bit more. You have to do this first, though. Hey, yeah. Is anyone there? Well, just call him to say, you made a snowman really happy. I guess I should say something else, too. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling the, over the underground. 
She has instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will not will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. Even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for her freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, that uh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Yeah, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human! I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. And Dying is helping with her is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh-oh. Hey. <clears throat> hey, what are you up to, punk? Ah. Please don't noogie the phone. <clears throat> hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah? That's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. Anyway, anyways, now I'm working on, uh, as Alfie's lab assistant. Alfie's... Alfie's... No. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah. And I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's new school. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Mm -hmm. Hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault he... Ah, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing now. Song would fit with Kingdom Hearts. Hmm. They just throw in the, the title theme as well. Oh, whatever. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Uh, seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever, are, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel! Toriel, do, do you wanna... Heh. She says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... Mm -mm. We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. Mm -mm. We have the mercy to spare you from her. Mm -mm. Call back any time, okay? She'd love to chat. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now! Mm -mm. See ya, punk. Uh, <laughs> I, never, I never found a proper Undyne voice. Well, sacri they, they sacrificed the freedom because they couldn't get the, the seventh soul or whatever to get through the barrier. Click. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad right now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? <laughs> Gamer god. Hmm. Say, what if I told you 
I need some way to get you a better ending. You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the keys, the key to your happiness. See you soon. There we go. <laughs> it's the, not the end of the. Uh, there's still quite a bit more. Ah, uh, but we did we did fight Asgore. Let's see. Yep. Getting tired. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll have to call the stream here. You don't remember getting that ending? Oh. Well, after this is the uh, the true pacifist ending. Uh, we, we talk to Alphys, and some stuff happens. Peace. <laughs> All right, who's online right now? Let's see. Yeah, and then, hmm. Start genocide. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh, who who are you gonna raid? I don't know. You know what? I'll do something I've never done. Who who's online playing Undertale? It's me. Hmm. There's a an Arabic VTuber. What? <laughs> uh Genocide early, genocide often. Really? And just sleeping. Oh no. <laughs> there's a there's a stream of just the 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 part in the Sands fight where he sleeps. Yeah, I'm the number one Undertale streamer on Twitch.tv. Thank you very much. Uh let's see. Uh but yeah, th thank you all for showing up. Let me find someone. I mean Zabombi's so he's playing Fortnite. So. Uh, this guy's got a cool design. He's on my, he's on my list. Uh, he's neat. Let's see. Nope. There we go. All right. Here we have the stream open. But yeah, thank you all for showing up. <laughs> thank you all for cheering me along uh, along the way. Uh, something about determination. Uh, uh, being able to enjoy playing video games uh, with other people fills me with determination. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, have a have a good day. And uh, yeah, enjoy everything. I dare you. <laughs>